Hey everybody, uh, it's uh, Tuesday, January 17th, and it's time for another Marvel Legendary MCU stream. Today, we're going to be playing a setup based on uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We have played four What If uh, setups so far. This movie came chronologically in release order next before the le uh, latter four episodes of What If. So we're going to play this today. Um, hey, off the cuff, you're on there twice. That's not your fault. That's the old chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Generally one of my favorite movies of all time. It was it was good. I am doing another MCU rewatch right now. I am up to uh, uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier tonight. So I can't wait to get up to uh, Shang-Chi and watch this again. Because I, I remember seeing it in theaters. And um, I think more so than most any other project of Phase 4, um, I was engaged the whole time. Uh, nothing took my attention away. Definitely things took my attention away from some of the other things. But this, I was engaged the whole time. Uh, didn't really tie into the greater MCU, and that was a plus for this movie, except for the couple of obvious places where it did. Uh, so it stood alone as a film, and it was great. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I had a long day today, so I'm very excited to uh, sit down and play some Legendary with all of you today. Uh, let's go ahead and do our prediction for this setup, and then I'll go ahead and go over it. And we got some characters we haven't been able to see yet in these MCU setups. So, uh, And that's going to be the trend through Phase 4. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the setup that we're going to be facing today. Again, off the cuff, who's in chat, designed all these setups, put an exclamation MCU to see his entire list of setups, all the way up to, um, I guess, all the way up to uh, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and uh, soon, Quantumania in a couple of months. And then, uh, if you're on YouTube, please look at the link in the description, play, play his setups, let him know what you thought, because I think they're all great. Um, okay. So, uh, off the cuff, how many of your setups do you think you're going to have to update after Infinity Saga? This should be a good chunk. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and look at the setup for uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings right now. All right, there it is again. All right, so the scheme is going to be claim souls for demons uh, from Doctor Strange. Not technically when we was intention, but it's what the Dweller in Darkness demands. Five to ten. Oh, God, Holiday Special's most recent one. Yeah, oh, yeah that is a funny one. Uh, okay, I look forward to seeing those changes. I, I like to see the changes whenever those come out. But... Uh, there we go. Hello, everybody. All right, so Mandarin, finally, uh, a long time coming as Wenwu. Uh, we've got Monster Metropolis and Kunlun as the villain groups here, and then Mandarin's Rings, of course, as the henchmen. And then as our heroes, we've got uh, Shang-Chi as Shang-Chi. We've got Moon Dragon as Yingnan and the Great Protector. Uh, we've got Archon as Katie as an archer, plus dragons. And then we've got uh, Daredevil from Civil War as Shang-Chi, but in this case, Daredevil's, <laughs> this Daredevil is actually Iron Fist. It's uh, Daniel Rand impersonating Daredevil. And as, uh, thank you for the follow. And as one of the foremost martial artists in the in the Marvel Universe, it's perfect that he's playing Shang-Chi as this other hero set. And then we got Elektra as a uh, uh, Sha, uh, Sha Ling. So, I'm excited. Hey, thank you so much for the sub Red War paint. That's very exciting. All right, that's the setup. Let me go ahead and go over everything. Oh, Prime sub, really kind of you, Red War paint. Hello and thank you. Very kind. All right, looking at the predictions, looks like it's uh, evenly split. You got uh, a little bit of time there to put that in. All right, mastermind and scheme time. So our mastermind is Mandarin. 16 attack. All Mandarin's rings get plus one attack. Uh, Mandarin gets minus one attack for each Mandarin's ring among all players. Victory piles minus three for each in solo. Red War Paint says, can't stay, but wanted to swing by and sub. Good luck with the game. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, and uh, I'll do my best. It's going to be a fun one. Whenever I get to use the Mandarin's rings, I'm happy. All right. Master Strike, each player chooses a Mandarin's ring from their victory pile to enter the city. Any player who didn't have a ring gains a wound instead. And it's honestly been a long time since I fought Mandarin, so I'm going to have to be careful not to miss anything here and give him his minus attack and put rings back in, etc., etc. Here's the scheme, which is kind of a byproduct of what happened. Claim souls for demons. Uh, we've got uh, eight twists here. Twist one to three. Each player makes a demonic bargain to rescue a bystander. If that bargain wounds that player, stack that bias scanner next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. A lot of wounds this setup. Twist 4 to 8, each player makes a demonic bargain to gain a shield officer. If that bargain wounds that player, stack that officer next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. Evil wins when the number of tormented souls is four times the number of players. Did chat just go away again? No, it's there. All right. Let's look at the predictions. Uh, we're good. Uh, so, uh, demonic bargain means you discard the top card of your deck if it had a non-zero cost to get a wound. So uh, a lot of wounds could go out, and there's not a lot of wound mitigation in the hero deck, but um, 
we'll see how that works out for me. Uh, before I move on with the rest of it, let me just pop over the uh, here the uh, setup one more time. So yeah, we got uh, Shang-Chi has a really cool uh, discard pile mechanic. And uh, Moondragon's got some Danger Sense, which could help me. And then Electra, Daredevil do top deck stuff. So that could be an interesting interaction with Shang-Chi. So I look forward to seeing how that goes. All right, that's that. Let me get everything set up. And predictions are open for like 30 seconds more. So starting hands. Yeah, I am looking forward to watching this one again. Uh, the bus scene is probably one of my favorite fight scenes. And that's saying a lot because um, so I have friends who are big into uh, martial arts films. And it's not like I didn't like them. It's just never, never something I really watched. And uh, seeing Shang-Chi is probably the most, some of the most martial arts film. Uh, what am I trying to say? I've, I've seen that more martial arts than Shang-Chi than most other movies I've watched independently. I've watched some great ones, though. Some of the classics. But uh, I really enjoyed it. And it actually made me want to go watch more martial arts movies. Which I think was the goal of <laughs> the folks who made the movie. Okay, let's get this all set up. I've already got the uh, piles together, so I just got to shuffle it up and uh, do this thing. Thursday, again, is another randomizer. As usual, we had a really fun setup this week. Even if you're not feeling like playing the league, uh, check it out. It's Ego and uh, Veiled Unveiled Schemes and a lot of cool things from a lot of recent, recent expansions. So I would check that out if I were you. Uh, all right, so uh, predictions. Looks like uh, only five people said, uh, chimed in here, but uh, the winners have it. Two of them said I'm going to win, but uh, the points are slightly towards a win. So someone's going to get some points. At the end of this thing. Uh, Alright, let's give everything a quick shuffle. And then we'll get started with this game. I don't know if it's going to be a long game. But it won't necessarily be a bad thing. Do you see that? I see some light coming in. Right, right there. I think if I put the hero deck back, it'll go away. Peeking in from a window. You can tell where I have a window. Oh, I can see this too. I got to fix that because that's going to be annoying. Yeah, let me go close that. Hold on. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't solve anything. I think I did it. I did it. All right. Intrusive light be gone. Let's hide that. Let's see who's starting in our HQ. We got... Okay, there's a Shang-Chi shuffling footwork. We've got dual existence Daredevil. We have acrobatic Kung Fu Shang-Chi. Another acrobatic Kung Fu. And then another... Whoops. I didn't see that. <laughs> another uh, shuffling footwork. Look at that. All instinct. Uh, all Shang-Chi except for Daredevil who's also Shang-Chi there. But that's pretty good. It gives me something to build towards, at least on one of my sides. But I don't know how the rest is going to go. And by the way, Shang-Chi looks like this because he... Uh, this is his uh, card set from Secret Wars, where he had this look in the um, Secret Wars universe. Is there an official name for that? Just Battle World? Just a, a, I forget what portion of Battle World Shang-Chi was in, in that arc. Uh, all right, let's head over to the left side and begin with turn number... One. Okay. We've got... I don't know why I'm stacking them that way. That was really weird of me to do. All right. We've got uh, five and one for starters. First card from the villain deck is a Master Strike. <laughs> He's not wasting any time, so check out what happens. Uh, basically, he puts... A, I'll just read it. Each player chooses a Mandarin's Ring from the Victory Pile to enter the city. Any player who didn't have a ring gains a wound instead. So that is uh, a really rough couple of wounds going out for the first two... Uh, the starter hands at least after the reshuffle so I better do some good recruiting otherwise I'm going to be stuck with these wounds for an annoyingly long time so he's going to nerf my ability to do anything alright so 5 is 5 I'm not going to play this let's look at all our options because I can take anything that is true but I didn't really need that at this point but you are technically correct all right, so we start with a shuffling footwork to recruit and an instinct you may shuffle your discard pile into your deck. So this is advantageous for a couple of reasons, including Shang-Chi's uh, set. But if you play like a rare or really powerful card, you can get it back quickly. There's a lot of reasons why you might want to do that. And then we've got dual existence. Uh, look at the top two cards of your deck, draw one and put the other one back. We've got an acrobatic Kung Fu, which is a uh, multi-class card, it's a dual class. Two plus attack, wall crawl, which means I get to put it on top of my deck when I recruit it if I choose. And then patrol the rooftops. If it's empty, you get plus one attack. Okay. I think what I want to do is do the combo of shuffling footwork and dual existence. Because getting the recruit early is going to help. Um, dual existence is interesting. 
I can do that before I decide to shuffle my discard pile into my deck if I play that in that order. Is that going to help me at all? Look at the top two. I guess I could draw one that would work with the discard mechanic. But anyway, I'm going to go... I'm, I need to clear up the HQ with more stuff for the other side because there's three more heroes in here. So let's start with um, shuffling footwork. Let's take it for three and see where we end up. We've got... Uh, all right, there's a moon dragon. <clears throat> moon dragon that appeared. Hello, hello. Okay, Peaceful Meditation 2, recruit when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn. If you didn't find anything this turn, draw an extra card. I like this one. Not in the late game, though. Because I'm always fighting stuff. Especially with the Mandarin's Rings here. So let's uh, do what I plan to do and take the uh, Dual Existence as my second pickup here on the left-hand side. And uh, move on. So I got that annoying wound of my discard pile already. Which I wish I didn't have to deal with, but I do. We've got uh, this, our first Mandarin's Ring. And yes, these rings do work differently than the movie, but uh, use your imagination here. Zero, or maybe they don't. Well, we don't know. Maybe we could find out the rings have individual abilities that we don't know about. But anyway, zero the Ice Blast. Fight, choose a card you played this turn that costs zero. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, add that card to your hand as an extra card. Which could count, could be okay for Demonic Bargains, but not so well. Now that I mentioned the Demonic Bargains, by the way, shuffling my discard pile into my deck could actually really help with the Demonic Bargains. Getting some zero cost back into the deck when I have to uh, fight something that is going to make me do it. Although I don't, don't have any villains here that are going to do that, so it's just going to be the scheme. So, forget everything I just said. Let's go ahead and put this ring uh, into the city. We've got our five recruit. Now, uh, I have to make a decision. What do I want to do here on the right? On the left-hand side, I'm building up the Instinct Discard Mechanic Shang-Chi deck, so I don't want to mess that up by taking anything away from the left-hand side. So I've got that Peaceful Meditation. I've also got Acrobatic Kung Fu, which um, could be pretty universal. <laughs> Thank you, Silver, for coming by, and uh, hello. I will do my best. I think I actually do want to take Peaceful Meditation because it is so early. Drawing that extra card could get me a rare that pops up later. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and take Peaceful Meditation for three, and we'll see what pops in. It's going to be a Dual Existence, which is, again, a pretty universal card. You get to do a slightly strategic draw. It's like an Investigate, but not quite, and uh, that's all there is to say about that. Let me go ahead and take a Dual Existence here. It's pretty universal. Okay. All right, we got another Dual Existence. That's the third one I've seen. Big showing for dual existence. And uh, I should have accidentally grabbed a destroyed sewers. I don't need that. That's an extra card. Uh, all right, moving over. So now we have a three and three, of course, because we had five and one on both sides. If they ever do a revamped rings mechanic and legendary, it'd be cool to see them artifact villainous weapons. Uh, yeah, um, I wonder, I'm wonder. i wondering if we're gonna see uh, the infinity stones in Infinity Saga as villainous weapons. I don't know if there's room for it, but they're also, it was in uh, Heroes of Asgard, so we'll see. Turn three is a twist, so let's take care of that. Our first twist, here we go. Uh, twist one, each player makes a demonic bargain to rescue a bystander if that bargain wounds that player, stack that bystander next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. This might fail because I have to shuffle both discard piles for this since it's only turn three and I don't have any decks right now. So let me go ahead and uh, shuffle my left hand, make a Demonic Bargain. Hopefully I succeed. I get. Of course I fail it. I fail it on turn three. That's kind of embarrassing. So uh, at least I get to uh, get a Tormented Soul. So that's great. Um, okay. So first I get a Wound. That was just terrible, terrible odds. Uh, no, the odds were good. It was just terrible luck. All right, and we have to uh, rescue a bystander. We stack it next to the scheme as a Tormented Soul instead. Failing on Twist 1, getting a Tormented Soul is very embarrassing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, off screen here. But trust that it is stacked next to the scheme as a Tormented Soul. All right, right-hand side. Am I going to have the same bad luck? Shuffling the discard pile. Hello, Viral. So let's shuffle this up. Here we go, Demonic Bargain. Okay, at least I succeed over there. So right side gets to just straight up rescue a bystander. And it is a standard bystander on the right hand side's victory pile. Well, that hurt. Seven more souls and I lose. All right, let's play this out. I got three and three, so I can do a fight, I can do a recruit, and it's all, all friendly here. 
Uh, let's look at uh, Zero the Ice Blast real quick. I just got to rank 50 after um, I'm playing very conservatively and hardly snapping on anything and just uh, taking the two when I can. And uh, I've got to 50. So slow and steady for me. The rings do have plus one. Yes. So I'm about to read it and we'll go over the whole thing. But um, off the cuff is right. That is a what we call a global mastermind ability. So uh, this is the fight effect. Choose a card you play this turn that costs zero. The point is I can't. And when you draw a new hand, a card is this turn. Add the card to your hand. There's an extra card. Point is I can't fight it because, as off the cuff said, Mandarin gives them all plus one. And uh, I want to fight them to get minus one. So let's go ahead and make sure I mark demarcate that with the four attack. Hovering around for it. You'll get there. And sometimes it pays to play conservatively on that. So, uh, yeah, forget what I was trying to do. Can't fight anything. Um, I've got three recruit, and so I'm going to take another shuffling footwork, and hopefully these will pay off, and I can get his uncommon. Or his rare if I'm really lucky. And, uh, no, I got another uncommon. This is an interesting strategy. Uh, this is an interesting one. So, Psyblades Electra, who's actually uh, the sister of Shang-Chi in this setup. Four attack, you get plus one attack for each hero you played this turn that costs one or two. So if I can take Electra on the right-hand side, it's going to change up what I do. And I could build a deck around her and get one and two cost cards. We'll have to see how many others come up and if I can even take this. But that's going to be the turn. Okay, what do I get? Hello, Tricky Vic. Long time no talk. Popping over. Four, five, six. So let's see what I get here. It is another ring. This one, of course, is also going to get the plus one. And it is a Nightbringer, the Black Light. Fight, reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. You may defeat a villain you have revealed worth two VP or less. Do its fight effect. Put the rest back in the order. We have Monster Metropolis, and I think some have Fate for Resurrection. I think there's some that are less than two VP, so that might be a nice way to do that. Um... <laughs> okay. Well, from this end, long time no talk, a long time no see. So uh, thank you for watching casually. Hello, Assorted Meeples. How are you? I am playing a setup based on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. By the way, Assorted, um, if you want to play some really awesome themed Marvel Legendary setups off the cuff in the chat here, has literally put one together for every MCU project, including every episode for... Oh, no, for every season. Sometimes multiple setups per season of uh, the shows, including Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all the Netflix shows and all that. Even the other ones. Free form, whatever. So check those out. Let's put an exclamation MCU. It's great. Um, I've been playing through them all, and I finally got up to uh, Shang-Chi. All right, uh, what am I doing here? All right, so am I really going to go for the side blades thing? I mean, I got to make a decision. So let's go ahead and go with Dual Existence and really try to do it. Yeah, they've been. it's been really thematic and really fun. And Nightbot spit out that really long and uh, complicated link, which I probably should shorten. There's another Dual Existence. And... Uh, if you want to see all my playthroughs of all of the MCU setups so far, you can check out the YouTube page at uh, youtube.com slash bageltopgames. I can't wait for the non-MCU ones, too. Oh, you mean like the um, the older, like the older, X-Men stuff? X-Men and all the classic ones? Um, but yeah, I want to see those, too. I, I think you started right off the cuff. I saw the Howard the Duck one. Um, turn 5 is another Master Strike. <laughs> I am getting thrashed here at the beginning of the game. So here we go. Each player chooses a Mandarin's ring, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any. Um, each player gets a wound instead. Okay, you did the first three. I look forward to playing those too. All right, we got wound. A lot of those movies I haven't even seen. So I look forward to watching those and then playing the setups. So each side gets a wound. No rings defeated yet. Okay, well, look at all this recruit I got on the wrong side for what I wanted to do. So here we, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then two more from shuffling footwork I can't activate. Perfect for a rare I don't have. Okay, so I could take side blades over here on the left, but I don't have it. I've already taken plenty of uh, enough Shang-Chi cards that, uh, well, let's see, I got the three. Yeah, I got a couple three costs. I don't really want to build for this. I'd rather build for his strategy. So instead, I think I'm going to go for a uh, three and a four but I'll definitely take Acrobatic Kung Fu first because I need to start getting some attack. Um, I am going to wall crawl Acrobatic Kung Fu to the top of my deck, which I could use later with Daredevil. 
but I can't use it now. And replaced with... Well, no, it's not MCU. It's... Uh, I know that the technical term is that... Um, it is confirmed to be within the same multiverse. So, and, and this is why the MCU universe, or the, uh, this is why the MCU universe, yeah, it's called the um, 616 in the MCU, because the comics are in a different multiverse than the films. And so that's how I was able to come to terms with calling it the 616. Uh, but it does have the Sony verse. Sony Versus and uh, maybe the X-Men Verse, we'll see. Maybe the Fantastic Four universe is all in the same multiverse. So that's kind of how I've compartmentalized it to make it make sense to me. Um, all right, so I could take a peaceful meditation over here with my last three, but I'll take yet another shuffling footwork. Uh, there, first divided card. And uh, all right. I'm hoping I get an opportunity to rest these wounds because I already have too many for my own taste and no wound mitigation to speak of. Uh, however, it will help me with the demonic bargains once I start to have to do those, but I already failed one. I failed one after the first turn. So, not great. Alright, so, um, cool. I got something. Definitely lacking on the attack right now. Which uh, is going to be a priority. <laughs> All right, so turn six is another twist. Wow. Would it kill me to get some villains out here? What's happening? All right, uh, so that's the Mandarin. He doesn't do um, any twists. This is the scheme. It does twist. All right, once again, each player makes a demonic bargain to rescue a bystander. If that bargain wounds that player, stack that bystander next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. So no reshuffles on either side, starting with the player whose turn it is, the right-hand side discards a shield agent, so right-hand side simply rescues this standard bystander. Left-hand side reveals a shield agent, so I succeed with the bargain on both sides. I get another bystander on the left. It is another standard one. Most of the bystanders are standard. There's three one-of-a-kind bystanders, so we're going to see a lot of standard ones here. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just finish it up after that. Chat doesn't go that fast, so I think you're good. Um, okay. So, am I going to fight anything with no, I'm not going to fight anything, so I might as well play Peaceful Meditation right now. To recruit, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, if you didn't fight anything this turn, draw an extra card. So I get to do that unless till I fight something, in which case this is cancelled. But uh, let's uh, dual exist and see what I get. Top two cards of my deck. One, two. Alright. With two attack, I can't do anything, so I might as well put the trooper back. Uh, put the agent in my hand. And I'll play three, four, five. Shoot, I wish I had one more. So that wound got in my way. So I can do another recruit, or I can rest. I think what I should do is take the other acrobatic kung fu. I need to load up on attack. I would love to get the uh, divided card here, but uh, I need I need attack. This is dual class. I don't have any covert triggers yet. We're gonna go for it, and I'll wall crawl it again. So that means... Wait, didn't I wall crawl it already? I'm confused. Maybe I forgot to put it on top, but that one I definitely did. Okay. And again, the cool thing about it forgetting a wall crawl is that it's still valid. Oh wait, this is the right-hand side. Hold up. Did I just mess up? I think I just pulled from the left hand. Yeah, this is why I don't use the shield that often. Hold on, I gotta back up. I gotta back up. Dual existence, I accidentally drew from the left-hand side. That's what I get for using the same ones. So let me back up to that point. This is recruited. I can't change that. So this is what I got. Um, let me put those two back. Those are on the, on the right-hand side. Okay, right-hand side, that causes a reshuffle. I'll still be able to do what I did. I'm going to play everything else out in the exact same way. So that's a reshuffle on the right. So that revealed two agents. So I'll draw one of the agents. I'll put the other agent back. That'll still give me the one, two, three, four, five. All played out. I recruit Chang Shi and wall crawl him on the right. Same deal. And then um, everything else stays the same. I draw one extra card at the end of my turn. Okay. I was like, why was it on top? Oh, I already drew it though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, what are some key? Uh, and if you haven't checked out. Uh, 
Grey Warden's Grayscale. He's uh, put together kind of a rubric for grading how hard masterminds are, and it's pretty cool. Um, what are some changes you had to go back and make? There's the one that I wall crawled. Uh, turn seven is another ring filling up the city, and I can't fight it. Well, I can fight it this turn, I think. The rooftops are empty. Yep, so this is Remaker. Oh, they won't be in a second. Hold on. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Remaker of the Matter, Rearranger, fight. You may choose a card from your hand or discard pile. The player on your right puts it in their hand. Boy, I wish those rooftops were still empty. Maybe I shouldn't be asking for villains to show up because I can't fight the henchmen. Four attack there. All right. Well, I don't have much option. I'll play my uh, three attack. Won't go anywhere. And I'll play my shuffling footwork to recruit. And then the second shuffling footwork will let me shuffle my discard pile into my deck if I so choose. I have one card in my discard pile and it is a shield agent. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just end with five recruit. I want to save those twos for the right hand side because I'd really like to get that going over there. So I'm going to take, I mean, it won't hurt. I can take a piece of meditation over here. See what it, where it takes me. I'll take one. And uh, all right, there's a pyrokinetic blast. I would love to see uh, Moon Dragon over here with some danger sense. We'll, it'll work well with a couple of Daredevil cards I've got. Uh, and I'm going to, instead of taking these two. Yes, I can. It is uh, dual class covert and instinct. So yeah, I could have activated the first one, but I wouldn't want to do that anyway. But yes, good point. Um, I'm going to leave these two here. I'm going to take a sidekick, actually, because I'd, I'd rather let those go to the other side if I'm really trying to make the side blades thing happen. Got a standard sidekick there. And here's my next hand. Still very low on the attack power. And unfortunately, if these rings escape, that uh, prevents me from lowering Mandarin's attack by that much more. So I really hope that doesn't happen. And we've got another twist. Again, no villains in this deck at all, apparently. <laughs> Except for uh, the rings are technically villains, but they're, they're rings. What are you going to do? All right, that's a twist number three. Same deal. Everybody makes a demonic bargain. Let's see if I succeed. Right-hand side does. All right, there you go off the cuff. It saved me a wound. So I succeeded the demonic bargain, and I get a bystander. Left-hand side is going to succeed as well, getting a bystander. On the left, it's another standard bystander all right uh, by the way let's look ahead twist four is a demonic bargain to gain a shield officer if that bargain wounds that player stack that officer next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead it's uh, it's designed to slow you down because you don't really need shield officers maybe by twist five and six usually but you have to gain them uh, okay well i finally have four attack that's good let me play dual existence top two cards of my deck Draw one, put the other back. I don't need five attack, but four recruit will give me two two costs, so I will put the uh, trooper back on top. Let's go ahead and play acrobatic kung fu. Uh, rooftops aren't empty, so nothing there. Two more attacks. Speaking of the rooftops, anything I fight... Well, I, I probably should fight the ice blast, but Nightbreakers will get pushed in anyway. Let me remind myself what these effects are. So I get to uh, basically uh, teleport a card I played, a zero-cost card, or freeze it. Um, this is uh, defeat a villain for 2 BP or less and rearrange the top three cards of the villain deck. And this one is... Um, I can swap a card from my side to the other side. Let me see if that's worth it. Is there anything i like to pass over there? Maybe Moon Dragon, because I'm going for... Um, I can use Moon Dragon to get side blades later, so I don't think I want to pass anything over just yet. This gives me the ability to hold on to it, and if I get a rare, I can get it on the first opportunity with whatever side and pass it to the side that's applicable. So I'm going to go with a Nightbringer, the Black Light. And then hopefully fight the Ice Blast next turn so that I can actually do the rooftops thing, because I don't have um, I don't have Acrobatic Kung Fu in my hand on the left, so I can, I can wait. Although, what do I have? I've got two attack only. Because in theory, I, if I fight the uh, Ice Blast... The Nightbringer could just get pushed in anyway, so let's just uh, go ahead and fight Nightbringer for four and uh, set up my next few cards on the top of the villain deck. Here we go. Reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. 
One, two, and three. Okay, we've got, uh, there's the villains. We've got Marcus Symbiote Centaur Razor Fist, who actually was in the movie, and then a Master Strike. You may defeat a villain you revealed worth two VP or less. Both of these are worth three VP, so I can't do that. Put the rest back in any order. So, if I put the Master Strike on top, Mandarin's going to put the, yep, it's going to go right into the city. So I want to, um, the ring that I just defeated. Oh, no worries. I just uh, talked about your scale and said it was awesome. And I asked you, what um, what are you going ba back and changing specifically on some of the masterminds? I'm going to try to tuck the Master Strike to the third card because I'd really like to uh, clear the city a bit before I put a ring back in. Um, Symbiote Centaur is going to charge two spaces when he comes in. So I'd rather him come in first. And then Razor Fist has third circle of Kung Fu. So we're going to go Marcus, Razor Fist, Master Strike. Not really great anyway. I slice it. But Marcus is going to come in, he's going to charge, and nothing will escape yet. There's only two things in the city, but uh, we go ahead and uh, defeat Nightbringer for now. It's going to go back in. In a bit. All right, I've got uh, both Mephisto and Strife and just couldn't math. I had the scale right with the correct part. Okay, so he didn't change the scale. Just math stuff. Fair enough. All right, I've, I've crossed my fingers and really trying to get Psyblades to work. So let's just take everything else. Let's go ahead and take a Nijitsu. Replaced with another ninjutsu. I could take dual existence, but I'll take the second ninjutsu instead. And uh, we've got our first Archon. Here's Katie, uh, all terrain barbarian. Uh, two recruit wall crawl patrol the sewers. If it's empty, you get plus one recruit. It's a nice uh, strength covert dual class, but I don't really need that right now. Not that I could get it, but uh... and I gotta remind myself the more I recruit, the more I fail with Tormented Souls. I only need seven more. So let's say I fail the next three. Twist four, twist five, twist six. I'll lose on twist seven. So there is a chance if I avoid the next few, I could be safe from this scheme. But knowing my luck, that probably won't happen. But uh, we'll see. We will, we will see what happens. Not a great hand on either side. So I'm a little worried about the next two turns of... The villains I set up, and then a Master Strike coming in, so... Things might not be so great right now. Yeah, I, I don't know about this, you guys. Alright, here we go. Ready for some rough stuff? Here we got Marcus. By the way, what my favorite fact about this character, Marcus the Symbiote Centaur, who's um, not playing himself for this movie, but it is a, it is a um, plot point that he is also diabetic. He, I think it started, it was like, he's a centaur, who's also a vampire who's also a symbiote, who's also diabetic. <laughs> it's, it's this funny Deadpool humor kind of thing. No, not you. This guy. All right. Ambush charge two spaces. So he's going to go from the sewers to the rooftops, pushing everything else along. I still need a, I need one of the, the, the little charge sound effects, but that's besides the point. Are you are you Marcus Symbiote Centaur? Um, while on the rooftops, sewers, rooftops, or bridge, he is in wolf form and gets plus three attack or... Um, dragon form or whatever so he's definitely six attack while he's here and i'm in big trouble so that's four recruit and two attack can't do a gosh darn thing with two attack there so we're gonna go ahead and uh do some recruiting i can't take i any of this the six costs i could take dual existence or i could take all terrain barbarian I have plenty of recruit already. I do not need this. I need attack power. Saying that, I say that, but I can't recruit any of the six costs. I feel like I have enough recruit though with the shuffling footworks I've got. All right. I'm gonna take a dual existence. I've, I took enough stuff on the other side. I gotta keep the HQ fresh. It's very important. Another dual existence here on the left. And we got another all train barbarian. HQ is not looking great. City's not looking great. And uh, I'm holding it together. I'm going to take a sidekick over here on the left for the last two. I guess I could have rested the wound, but I don't usually like to rest until I have, um, you know, at least a couple wounds. The good thing about these um, these alternate bar barbarians is that uh, they have wall crawls. So if I took two in a turn, I could guarantee I get a rare or expensive card the next turn. Especially if the sewers are empty, if I'm able to clear it. 
but uh, we'll see. Uh, turn number 10, not a great hand either, and that's going to be Razor Fist. We've got a Master Strike coming in, which will fill the city. Uh, here we go. He's got third Circle of Kung Fu, which means if I don't have a card that costs at least three, he gets plus three attack. And fight for each of your heroes that costs three, KO one of your heroes. Very thematic villain for this setup, again, because he is in the movie. The only villain in this city, including the rings, technically. That's there. Uh, all right. Give me some attack dual existence, please, please, please. Top two cards of my deck. Uh, all right. Let's take the other dual existence. Let's put the wound back. Maybe I'm just going to rest this turn. I'll play the second dual existence. Top two cards of my deck are... Okay. I could take ninjutsu right now and then draw the wound. But it won't do anything. So I'm just going to save ninjutsu for the next turn. I'm going to draw the wound. Put ninjutsu back. And then I'm going to rest. Yep. It's going to hurt me with the demonic bargains but i need to win this game so i'm just gonna rest this turn i could take a three cost something but uh, whatever with one of my changes to the metrics during later expansion i never adjusted mole man he just dropped from a five to a three i think that's fair like mole man can cause some really unfortunate escapes but in a vacuum that won't necessarily hurt you because you don't know what scheme you have turn 11 here it is, the Master Strike. <laughs> Starting with the left-hand side, we take a Mandarin's Ring from the Victory Pile, and it enters the city. So Nightbringer enters from the left-hand side. Right-hand side did not get a Mandarin's Ring. I should have adjusted Mandarin's attack, but I knew I wasn't going to hit him. Speaking of not hitting him, look at this, this hand. And then right side is going to go ahead and get a wound because you do not have a ring on the right. Things are not going that well. Um, hopefully, once again, dual existence can help me. I'm going to try to shuffle this entire thing and draw three attack, at least. Which uh, I don't think I have any cards that are going to give me a three attack. So good luck to me. If I get the sidekick, that's probably the only thing that will help me here. I got shield agent and shield agent, so I don't have much of a choice at all. I draw one and put the other one back. Yep, we're going to have a Mandarin's Ring Escape. Okay, for Recruit. Once again, getting messed up on Recruit here. Do I want to take all Terrain Barbarian and really go crazy on the Recruit? I'm really lacking in KO power. I'm basically wall crawling a Shield Officer right now if I do that because I'm not going to have an Empty Sewers. And I don't have really anything, hardly anything class-based, especially not these two classes. So I do not need this. But if I don't take it, I'm clogging up the HQ even further. All right, I'm going to take the one. I don't have to put it on top of my deck. I, I, but in hopes that I can get Moon Dragon out of here or the Divided... Daredevil, I am going to put it on top of my deck. We'll see how that goes for me. Fingers crossed, right? All right. There's Roundhouse Sidekick. There we go. There's some attack. But uh, not my turn. All right, let's see if that paid off. There's the Wall Crawl Alternate Barbarian. Two, three, four, five, six. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven recruit. Okay, I can get something good next turn. But I still can't find anything. So, hello, rings. Welcome to the escape pile. Or I can't weaken the Mastermind while you're there. Turn 12 with you anyway. All right, another Razor Fist. So here's the bad news. We have an escape from one of the rings, which I guess is in theory going directly to Mandarin. Directly to Wenwu. So I am going to have to KO something from the HQ, and it's going to be this all Train Barbarian. He's betrayed me. Actually, not really. It's going to help me next turn. But um, that's an escape, which is unfortunate because that means that Mandarin, since he gets minus one attack for each... Mandarin's Ring among all players' victory piles. That is one less attack that he's never going to get. So that's cool. And then we might have two, because I've got another ring that's about to escape. And we don't have that much in terms of attack. Razor Fist comes in. And I... Oh, Circle of Kung Fu, by the way. I do have a three cost here. So they're both three right now. But I only have two attack. So if Ninjutsu can draw, I should probably play Peace of Meditation first. Oh, let me refill the HQ. Okay, that's another good. This is the one I was looking for, for the left-hand side. 
Seek the Empty Mine. Patrol your discard pile. If it's empty, you get plus two attack. So it works in tandem with the other one. Five attack is amazing, especially on a common, an uncommon. So I'm going to take Peace of Meditation first, just so I get the bonus to recruit from a ninjutsu. Although I might fight something this turn. So there we are. Let's go ahead and play ninjutsu. Please draw just one more attack. I got it. Wonderful. Okay. I save, I'm safe from another escape. Oh, and the Covert Trigger gives me two more recruit. So I'm not going to get the extra card draw this turn because I'm going to do some fighting. Uh, we got Acrobatic Kung Fu. That's two attack. I patrol the rooftops. It is not empty. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Marcus is down to three as well because he's not in his uh, important key spaces. So now i got to determine what to fight. Um, I can fight anything I want from the city. I should probably fight the ring that's about to escape because... That's going to make it hard for me to fight Mandarin if I let a second one escape. Although if I fight Nightbringer, then Marcus won't move and left hand might be able to hit him before he gets to the uh, bridge and he gets uh, plus three again. So I, right left hand side's got uh, not any attack power at all. So I'm just going to have to give up on the fact that something's going to escape. So let me fight the ring that's about to escape. Uh, this is the one that I already fought. Okay, this is the one I have I have to use it up. Let me just double check. Are there any cards I want to move move around? Well, if I put one of these cards into the left side's hand, that will give me enough attack to hit something. So again, I have no attack at all. Six recruit. If I give dual existence, I might be able to get some attack to hit something. So I'm actually going to pass a dual existence, even though this is a precious two cost card. From the right hand side to the left, well, let me do the fight. I spend the attack to fight. I will put this in the left hand side's hand, and I will take out the ring on the right. And for four recruit. Now roundhouse sidekick itself is not a two cost for Electra, which I may not ever get, so I don't know why I'm planning for it. But um, if I get the number right of the top card of my deck the cost I get a sidekick which will work with side blades so I will take it the sidekicks will work anyway there's another divided oh well, hold on did I have six recruit or four nope I had six I missed my last two I could have taken a six cost darn well I've already revealed stuff so I that's why you pay attention so I missed the uh two over here oh well It's okay, I needed a little handicap, right? I'm doing too well. Left hand side is definitely gonna get a six cost. And I still have plenty of ability to, <laughs> to get those out of there. That might have been the better pickup anyway, because it's the direct attack. There's my seven cards, and turn 13 is a mystery card from the villain deck, and it is another Mandarin's Ring, this time spin the Vortex Beam. Fight, reveal the top six cards of your deck, discard all of them that cost zero, then put the rest back in any order. Interesting with Shang-Chi. Because I can uh, shuffle my discard into my deck and then fight this to optimize <laughs> my next draw really well. So this is going to be at four attack like the rest of them. There we are. All right, uh, what am I doing? Let's start with the dual existence. Top two cards of my deck. Let's slide this over to show you that I have not played it and I won't forget to play anything this time. Okay, let's uh, maximize the hand here. Let's uh, draw the sidekick, put shuffling footwork back. Anything on my discard pile I want to shuffle in first? Not really. Most of it's garbage, so let's uh, play the sidekick right now. Draw two. One, two. All right. Boy, that's a lot of recruit, not a lot of attack at all. So I'm going to go with uh, shuffling footwork. Even if I do a recruit this turn, I don't want to shuffle anything in because I'd rather not shuffle all these in. You got some good stuff still in my deck. Um, sewers are not going to be empty, so that's two more recruit from all terrain. Five, six, seven from my agents. And two more recruit from shuffling footwork. All right, I've got nine recruit. So let me make a smart choice here. So Seek of the Empty Mind is, again, one that's with the uh, couple of shuffling footworks I got. Pretty reliably going to get me five attack with one card, which you can take out most of the things in the villain deck. Um, we've got Psy Blades. We already looked at that one. I don't want that one over here. I'm really trying to make that one work on the right. We've got Pyro, a Psychokinetic Blast, 
Danger Sense 4, which could be very useful. And then Avengers, if this revealed at least two Master Strikes, you may shuffle the villain deck. I've already played three of them, so that the odds of that happening are not high at all. And then I've got the divided card here, which is uh, Hidden Identity, Revealed Identity. So three Recruit, the next two you recruit goes on top of your deck. And then uh, Revealed Identity, you get plus one attack for each different cost of hero you have. This is a great one for this left-hand side, because right-hand side is doing more uniform costs. For example, I got three cost. I don't have that many variations. Three, two, zero, and then if I play this one, it'll be six. That would be four attack. So see if the Empty Mind is still going to give me more attack. Plus, it's an uncommon one away from uh, six. So we're going to start with Seek the Empty Mind and see what comes up. That would be one I would shuffle in for, but um, I'll have to wait because there's too much junk in there. Okay. Muscle Memory is a card that has won me several games in the past. And as you read this along with me, you will find out why. Five attack, wall crawl. Anytime you are shuffling your deck with this card in it, you may set this card aside and put it on top of your deck at the end of the shuffle. So think about what that means. Every time I play Shuffling Footwork and shuffle my discard pile, so I can do a combo of uh, Shuffling Footwork, Dual Resistance, draw it. And then... If I can get it back into the deck. I don't have any way to do that, though. Anyway, I'm just happy that unlike some of these other setups, the title character is actually showing up. Yeah, I'm happy about that, too. <laughs> hey, there was a good reason for Ant-Man not to show up in the Ant-Man setup. Kind of. Sort of. All right, I can't get the rare right now. I got an extremely expensive HQ. Four uncommons and a rare. So I have to do something about that. I have plenty of recruit to deal with that. So I'm just going to take a sidekick for now. For two. And then hopefully pick that up soon all right I got a psychic I'll get through this I will get through it but I'm gonna have to let some things escape along the way by the way Marcus got buffed when he moved over so he's going back to a scoop so it doesn't really matter but uh, turn 14 and there's another ring so yep so first things first Marcus is going to escape he has no escape effect just a regular good old KO for an escape all right it's in a KO of a card that costs six or less. So it has to be an uncommon. I think it's going to have to be. Danger Sense 4 is great. But in this setup, it won't necessarily help me to know when the twists are coming because Demonic Bargains are really hard to plan for when it's your turn because at the end of your turn, you have to, um, you know, discard your hand and draw a new hand of cards. And that means there's a new card on top of your deck at the end. Even though I do like Danger, Sen Danger Sense a lot, I think I'm going to have to get rid of Pyro. Or nope, Psychokinetic Blast. I keep wanting to say Pyrokinetic. Less useful than I have thought it would be with this setup. We've got to Influence the Impact Beam. This one simply is Fight. You get plus one Recruit. There we are. Okay. Let's see if I have some good Fateful Card Draws. Okay, a couple Ninjutsu. Simply draw a card here. It's a uh, piece of Meditation. Cool. Two Recruit there. We'll play a second Ninjutsu, drawing a card and getting the plus two recruit for the Covert activation and playing everything else out. We've got one, two simple attack that again is not going to go anywhere. And we've got uh, three recruit. So I've got enough recruit for Shang-Chi on the wrong side. Um, and I also already fought the ring that swaps cards from one side to the other. So I, as much as I love to, this would be the wrong side to take muscle memory. So I'm going to avoid that, but I can finally take Psy Blades, which I've been trying to do for a while, and then try to make this work. So I'm taking Psy Blades for six. And uh, another Psychokinetic Blast. So now I can load up on one and two class cards. Hopefully I get to see another one of the Psy Blades cards, and I can make that happen. The left hand side is going to get the rare soon. And hopefully that'll be enough to get through. Mandarin with a one ring escape. By the way, I do have one ring in my uh, victory pile, so I should technically reduce him down to 15 attack. There we are. All right. Turn 15. Speaking of 15s, uh, Red Psy shows up, knocking Razor Fist out. That is another standard escape, so let's do our KO. Hey, Premise Land, thank you for the bits, and hello. I feel like long time no see, so happy to see you again. Okay, I need to do a KO. Okay, so psionic warning here. Check this one out. This is uh Oh, I gotta figure out if I want to KO it. 
It's Danger Sense 2 and then Instinct of this or Villainy. Scheme Twists gain a shard. There are... Although Danger Sense 4 can give me 5 attack now that I'm reconsidering it. What am I going to do this turn as far as recruits? I got 2, 4... I would love to take Psionic Warning this turn if I don't have enough recruit for anything else. This sidekick is probably going to give me at least one more recruit, maybe two. So I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to get rid of Psionic Warning. Mm. You know what? No, I'm going to get rid of one of the divided cards. These are great, but I need to clear up the HQ a bit. And there's another Psy Blades. I'm glad I did that. So here we go. That's an escape for uh, Razor Fist. Now Red Psy comes in. And uh, Red Psy... Which is funny because I think that's actually Electra. Or Electra takes the mantle of Red Psy or something like that. I don't know. Uh, four Circle of Kung Fu. Fight, draw a card for each of your heroes that cost four. There's more 10 rings, people. The actual 10 rings. So four circle means I have a card that costs four, so uh, they only cost four this turn. Let's do another piece of meditation that's probably not going to actually happen. And we will play the sidekick. Drawing one, two. Well, I just got enough attack to hit a ring, so I'm happy about that. So there we go, two attack. And uh, we've got another acrobatic kung fu. Rooftops are full up. So nothing there. Three recruit. And I've got shuffling footwork, and I reverse things again. I get up to five recruit. Do I want to shuffle my discard pile now? I literally have one card in my deck. So there's no point in doing that now, because I'd love these to get back into the shuffle. So. For the fourth time, I won't shuffle it. So, if I fight Influence the Impact Beam, I'll get a six recruit, and I can pick up uh, Psy Psychokinetic Blast or the Divided Heroes. But I think I want to do that. Hey, what's up, Mr. Giraffe? Thank you so much for the resub with Prime. And hello. How's it going for you today? Um, Spin the Vortex Beam is the one that will set up my top of my deck. But again, these won't end up back in it because I have one card in my deck. Nightbringer's about to escape. That's the one where reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. Right hand side has how much recruit? I'd, ra I'd rather get the second Psy Blades. That's one, two, not a lot. Hail Hydra! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Giraffe. I watched Captain America again um, this past week, and it was fun to watch it again after everything. I haven't watched it after everything. Pick up on, picked up on some new stuff, and uh, the Hydra stuff, I forgot about a lot of it, so it was fun to watch again. Okay. Um, shoot, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so I can do the six recruit, or I can uh, re uh, rearrange the villain deck because I'm worried about this ring escaping. I think there's another Marcus in there who could cause a charge. So I'm again, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to spend the four to fight the ring in the bridge, on the bridge, in on the bridge. Uh, the bad the bad news is right side has a ring in their victory pile. Left side's about to have one. So if I do this, a Master Strike is going to put two rings into the city. But uh, we'll try to avoid that strike for as long as possible by fighting this ring. So for four, top three cards of the villain deck. There it is. is there it is, three. Uh, here we go. There's a ring, a strike, and another Marcus. Of course it is. So I can defeat this ring for free. A real top card of your deck, you may KO it. But if I do that, I'm going to have Marcus come in, cause an escape, or Master Strike, and two rings come in. Oh, God. Okay. I think it's worth it for a free defeat on a ring. And I'll just... Although... Let's see. Let's say I do that. Marcus is going to cause two escapes. And a strike is going to cause one escape. And it will be Razor Fist. And then a ring is there. But then Marcus comes in after. Right hand side is going to have two, three four, five attacks. So I can clear something with that. So let's do that. Let's actually, let's eat our vegetables here. Put the strike first, followed by Marcus. And uh, we will actually defeat the ring for free. So that's, uh, you reveal the top card of your deck, you may KO it. And that is dual existence, which I'm not KOing. But I got another ring out of there. That one's blown up. That goes to the left-hand side's victory pile. And then... This gets blown up. 
It goes to the left-hand side's victory pile. So, I got two rings on the left. So, just for now, Mandarin is down to 13. That's going to change very soon. I've got five recruit left. Let me go ahead and take that psionic warning, because I did not get the extra recruit. And uh, there's Quiver of Thunderbolts. That's Spectrum Draw card. I like this one. Two attack and a card draw that almost always is going to work with all the classes I've got. And a full reshuffle. So now I may do some strategic Shang-Chi reshuffles. And stream has just hit an hour. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday evening. Always happy to play some Legendary at the end of the day, even though it was a long day. This is relaxing for me. It's very zen. I get to look at some cool art, talk to some cool people, and play a cool game. Can't complain. We've got uh, whatever this is. This is not much. We'll see what I draw. All right. So we did it to ourselves. Here's what happens. We pull a strategically placed Master Strike. <laughs> So Mandarin is about to put two rings into the city. I have to do it. I don't have, don't have a choice. So starting with the right-hand side, the only ring I have is a Remaker of the Matter Rearranger is going to enter, followed by left-hand side. I have a choice. Do I want to do the top deck KO or do I want to do the Rearranged Villain deck? I'll never forget about Cool Giraffes. Not while this camera's around. All right, I'm going to put the one that uh, lets me do a top deck KO in. So that means Razor Fist is going to escape. We'll handle that in a moment. And the city's full of rings and red side. So left hand, right hand. Although um, I have a bone to pick with how Giraffe's um, heart valve are placed. I, Giraffe's heart valve is, goes from their chest all the way up to their brain. The, the, they pump their blood that way, so the heart is all the way down there, obviously. And it's looped around in these weird ways. So if a giraffe leans over to drink water for too long, it can pass out because the blood flow doesn't go to its head. Oh, that's okay. I don't hold it against you. All right. Razor Fist is going to escape. No escape effect on that. I really like Quiver of Thunderbolts. And I really don't like Psychokinetic Blast, even with the Danger Sense. But hold on. I did play a lot of Strikes and Twists. So Danger Sense is going to give me some significant attack each time. Even though I won't reveal Master Strikes. But I do also have lots of costs. There's not really a great choice here. <laughs> and that could explain anybody. I've got three recruits so I can take the Quiver this turn. But if I'm doing the two cost thing, I don't want to do that. So, okay. I'm just going to KO Quiver of Thunderbolts just because it's a common. And I'll probably see it again. Except not, not immediately, as you can see there. Another escape. Okay, let's do, let's, let's do some punches. Uh, by the way, Red Sai is at 4 attack because of the Circle of Kung Fu 4. I have a 4 cost here. Let's take a shot here at trying to get this to work. By the way, um, 15 attack again for Amanda. Choose a number, reveal a top card of your deck, and the card is at cost gain a sidekick. I have, I mean, I have a lot of zero cost here. Let me check my discard pile. A lot of zero cost there. I'm going to say 2. Let's say 2 cost. Top card is, well, I should have said 0. Because these technically cost zero. So, oh well. Wound coming. Like, I have all the grays out here. I forgot about the wounds. Two more attack here. That's four attack. And a fifth. So. I should probably once again fight a ring. I'm going to go with the vortex beam. Again. We'll do another rearrange. So down to one top... Oh, this is a different one. This is not the villain deck one. This is, uh... Did I mean to put that one in? Yeah, I did. That's what I said. All right, let's do this anyway. This would be great. Reveal the top six cards of your deck. Discard all of them that cost zero. Put the rest back in the order. Hold on. I don't have much of a deck. I have the wound, and then two, three, four, five. This will cause a reshuffle if I fight it, and, uh... I want these in the reshuffle, so maybe I don't fight this one. Unfortunately, I can pass a card over, or I can do a KO. You know what? If I fight the Electro Blast, I can KO the wound I know is there, even though it's in the sewer. So let's uh, spend the four instead on uh, Lightning the Electro Blast. Top card of my deck is that wound I already revealed, so I get to KO it. Seems like a better choice for me. Okay. 
And then we've got three recruit to work with, which is only going to get me a sidekick because I'm trying to fuel the side blades, which I haven't seen yet. And it's uh, Lockheed, which I'm assuming off the cuff is either um, either the dragon at the end or is this Morris? I I want to I want to say it's Morris. This is my head cannon is this is Morris, and you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> okay. Yes, I was right. It's Morris. Makes me so happy. It was again. I, I the most recent movie I watched because I just watched um about to watch Captain America. I watched uh, Iron Man three and then Thor: The Dark World. But Iron Man three is fun to see Slattery um there. Because by the time I watched Shang Chi, I forgot completely um most of his most of his stuff. So it was fun to go back and revisit that. And it is yeah okay, it's more. It's always been Morris. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Morris is gonna help me. Turn 17. So do you think Slattery actually understood Morris or was he just making it up? All right, turn 17 is Marcus, which um, I think we knew about. So that's a bummer because we're going to lose two rings, which means I probably should have fought one of the other ones. But um, I didn't want that reshuffle. So here we go. That's two less attack, uh, two more attack that Mandarin is always going to have. So we've got two rings that are going to escape. First one is going to do a first KO. Let's get rid of this first psionic warning. And then that is going to be the first escape of these two. Second one, refill. Ah, oh, heck, I'm gonna get rid of the other moon dragon. So much for danger sense in this one. Um, no, that was a, yes, that was an escape. This is an escape. That's an escape. Okay. Everybody moves down. There are three rings in the uh, escape pile. So that means Mandarin can never drop below how many are left? There's seven left. That's not great. Still only one in the victory. Oh wait, Victory Pal's got one, two. So he's actually down to um 14. I would love to see more uh, henchmen that are individual cards, but besides the 10 rings, I don't know what else the heck he could use. It's so thematic. What else is there that there's 10 of, but they're also henchmen type things that aren't super strong? You could do like the Serpent Society, but then you might as well make them villains, you know? Dual Existence, let's start it. Top two cards of my deck. I will draw a Dual Existence and put the other one back. Let's keep the Dual Existence chain going. Top two of the left-hand side again is gonna be Agent and Trooper. I'll take the Trooper just in case. I'll put the Agent back. We'll put a third Dual Existence, it's gonna be Agent and Shuffling Footwork. I have no discard pile, but I will take Shuffling Footwork instead of the Agent. Um, I will play one, two. Here's what I could do. Before I play Shuffling Footwork, I could recruit a sidekick and shuffle it into my deck, which wouldn't be the worst idea. Or I could play Shuffling Footwork and not do anything and take Psionic Warning. I think I'm going to do the fun thing and shuffle in a sidekick. So let me actually start by recruiting a sidekick. And then I'll play shuffling footwork for two more. And I will shuffle the sidekick, the only card in my discard pile, into my deck. Because that just sounded fun to me. Plus I might uh, pull that uh, sidekick early to let me draw some more stuff. Which I like. And I can get another sidekick now. That won't get shuffled back in. It'll be, well at least not now. I could pull another uh, Shang-Chi and do that. Uh, two attack goes nowhere, so we're done there. All right, sidekick. Nope. Two, three. Hey, there it is. Why did I do that? All right, this one goes back. Oh, you know why I did that? Because um, <laughs> for some reason, shuffling it in made me feel like I gained it. So thank you for catching that. I tricked myself. Okay, turn 18 is a twist. All right, demonic bargain time. Here we go, this twist is twist number four. Each player makes a demonic bargain to gain a shield officer. If that bargain wounds that player, stack that officer next to the scheme as a tormented soul instead. Right hand side, uh, fail. So an officer goes next to the scheme as a tormented soul. That's tormented soul too. Remember I was talking about surviving these? Not gonna happen. Oh, I got a wounded anyway. I forget, don't, can't forget the wound. So here's my wound. 
Um, okay, left hand side. Also a fail, and that's a card I really would have liked to have. So I'll shuffle that in with uh, Shang Chi when I get a chance. But uh, that's another wound right there, and that's another officer in that pile. Third tormented soul, not doing great so far on avoiding losing to the scheme. Okay, um, dual existence time, top two. Got Lockheed and the Trooper. If I take Lockheed, I can get a total of two, four, five attack. Um, fourth circle, I pass. I don't need five, I just need four. So I'm gonna take the Trooper. I'm gonna put Lockheed back. And we'll just get the four attack. Two, three, four. And uh, we will take this ring before I lose any more rings. This is the one that uh, swaps cards. I wish I would have done that with the rare. I could just not do this, so I'm just going to choose not to do it. I'll sacrifice the effect because I just got to get rid of this ring. All right, so Mandarin's down to uh, 13 attack. And uh, that cost me all four, and I've got three recruit. Just enough for another dual existence. Okay, it's on the roundhouse sidekick. Kieran. All right, so I hold on to Lockheed. I mean Morris. <laughs> I think it's going to help me out. Turn 19 is another ring. This is uh, Daimonic, the White Light. Fight, draw a card. Simple, elegant, as Guardian Warrior. So let's uh, sidekick. Yeah, we'll do the sidekick. I might end up resting if this doesn't go well. So one, two. Ooh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get the rare Shang Chi. All right, we're gonna do it, um, and I can shuffle it in if I want to, which I might not want to do. So let's all train barbarian to recruit, shield agent, shield agent, four recruit, shuffling footwork, two more recruit. So I can shuffle after I play this. Um. Yeah, there's plenty of good stuff in here that I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Plus, these two wounds won't come back. So, I will... I'll get my eighth recruit. I will shuffle the discard pile into the deck. That way, these two wounds end up in my discard pile. And then, muscle memory, I can wall crawl to the top of my deck. Okay. Yeah. Finally. There we go. Okay, now I'll take uh, Muscle Memory for 7 out of my 8. Wall Crawl it to the top of my deck. And now I can uh, beat up on Mandarin. Uh, my own father. Alright, first strike is going to be there for the other side. There it is. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. But this has to end up in the discard pile to go back on the top. But... Um, I don't have any cards that put it in the discard pile, but that's okay. I'll, I'll just be able to get it back pretty often. Thank you, Paramus, for coming by. I will hopefully finish this game strong. I just got the rare I needed, so I'm optimistic. And I appreciate the bits. Thank you so much. Uh, turn 20 is Rand Kai, who is going to be fill in the blank for this setup. Uh, six Circle of Kung Fu. Escape each player reveals a hero that costs six or more, or they gain a wound. I'm so glad he didn't show up earlier when I had all those escapes. So let's start with Ninjutsu, drawing a card blindly. It is going to be an agent. I'll draw another card blindly. It is going to be another agent. So that's going to give me uh, one, two, three, four, five recruit. And if I play Lockheed, that's two attack, but I can't hit anything for two. Oh, the guy in the, <laughs> the, guy in the mask. Okay, good. There's the guy in the mask. I wish I had a little mask token to put on there. Uh, let me just make sure I mark these correctly. Uh, this is actually red size at eight this turn because I don't have a four cost. And um, I don't want to play Lockheed because he won't do anything right now. Oh, Rankai's at 12. I should I should mark that too. So I'm going to do a recruit. Probably a first strike because I don't have a first strike yet. And that's probably all I'm going to do unless something good comes up. What is up? How is your uh, setting up to stream going? Mikey's been doing a lot of uh, learning OBS. So I hope that's going smoothly for you. Let's take first strike for one. For starters. And alright, there's Warlord of Open Spaces. There's more Katie. Patrol two adjacent city spaces. If they're both empty, then you get plus one. That's a good one for later. 
I will take Roundhouse Sidekick again because this can get me two costs. Even though it is not one itself. And there's another Moon Dragon I probably don't want. Okay, there's Side Blades. And uh, right now, no one or two cost cards. It's my fault for taking that Roundhouse Sidekick, but uh, I haven't been able to use it to get any Sidekicks yet. I got one, so Lockheed will give me one plus attack if I decide to play him on that turn, but uh, let's keep going. This is going to be a good turn. Turn 21 is Bug, Shikla's pet dragon. You know, Shikla, former wife of Deadpool, or current, I forget if they actually made it official. Fight KO a card from your discard pile and Fateful Resurrection, which means if I fight them, I reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a Master Strike or a Scheme Twist, they re-enter the city. I've already gotten rid of almost all the strikes and half of the twists, so... But I've also got a lot of villains coming out, so... It's going good, just need to figure out what days to stream and then I can finally be able to get back into the swing of things. I look forward to it, especially, I, you know, um, Jinjo's has been doing a video series on Arcade and I discovered I really like watching people play Arcade. Something about the progression is really fun. It, feel, it does feel like a run of a roguelike, so if you do that, I'm going to be very excited to watch that too. I'm, I'm, I get invested in how your game's going and... and <laughs> and hope, uh, hoping for you to win. All right, so we got Muscle Memory. So this is not going to do anything yet. Let me just read this again. Um, at any time you are shuffling your deck with this card in it, you may set this card aside and put it on top of your deck at the end of the shuffle. So I want to um, hopefully get Shuffling Footwork next turn. Because I can't get it in my discard pile right now. But I can shuffling footwork to seek the empty mind if I want to. So we go five attack here. So look at seek the empty mind. It's patrol your discard pile. If it's empty, you get plus two attack. It is not empty now, but I can play shuffling footwork to make it empty. And I got some good stuff in here. I got some wounds, but I got some okay stuff. And let, yeah, let me check the city before I do that. So that's going to be the plan to do shuffling footwork, shuffle that in. That'll give me a total of five, ten attack. And what can I do for ten? I can at least clear a couple things that I couldn't with that extra plus two. So yeah, let's check out our fight effects. Red Sai is draw a card for each of your heroes that cost four. I don't have any, so that won't draw me anything. Uh, fight, draw a card here on Demonic. No fight here. But I do get through both circles with the uh, rare. And then, yeah, here is um, Bug, Shikla's Pet Dragon. Fight, KO a card from your discard pile. So yeah, if I do hit Bug first for four... Um that will let me KO a card before I shuffle it. However, if I don't do that, I hold on to that four attack, which I might use anyway. And then it gets a total of 10. So what I'm probably gonna do is, since I'm, I gotta pick what I'm gonna hit first, I'd rather hit the ring, which will let me draw a card. Plus if I also hit red side, oh, I can't draw cards on the red side. I'm going to have one left over, so I'll have six left. I can fight Rand Kai afterwards. So yeah, I'll just commit. I'll, I'll get rid of the wood while I can. So we'll do the fight right now. It, that's option A. Option B is I shuffle in, and then I do uh, Diamonica draw another card, get some extra attack on top of that. But uh, clearing two spaces is pretty good, plus getting rid of a wound. So let's fight Bug. Let's KO this wound from my discard pile, spending four attack. Let's see if it resurrects. It does resurrect, so that's awful luck for me. Although I can, I can, farm, I can farm this guy. If I want. Um, he goes back into the city. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'm going to fight Rankai anyway, so uh, let's do the shuffle back in. So shuffling footwork, of course, right? Yep. All right. Two recruit. Let's shuffle all this fun stuff into the deck. Oh, hold on. What am I going to recruit this turn? I could do. I could play these four, recruit for four, and shuffle it in. But I'm probably going to take Warlord of Open Spaces or something. So let's do the shuffle first. Let's commit. Shuffle that all in. And then my discard pile will be empty to get the bonus attack from uh, Shang-Chi's Seek the Empty Mind. Yeah, I do have lots of different classes, so that would be useful. Let me evaluate. Seek the Empty Mind. Two more attack. I have no discard pile now. I have two more attack. That's a total of five. Wait, hold on. I have six right now because I had five. I spent one and I got five. So I'm at six attack now. So, and then I'm going to fight um, Rand Kai. 
while I can get through his six circle. That's a hard circle to get through. So let's take it out while I can, because I know if I fight Buggy, it's going to come back. Well, he's actually the guy in the mask there. All right, let's play the rest of my cards. Four, six, no effect from Moondragon there. And uh, yeah, so here's why off the cuff said to take Iron Fist card. Um, the right-hand side said you get plus one attack for each different cost of hero you have. Like seven, three, five, and zero. That would be four attack. Left-hand side can wall crawl, which is okay, but for um, Reveal Identity, it's pretty good. But then we got Warlord of Open Spaces, which is not going to help me just yet because the city is still and going to be pretty full. Uh, yeah, patrol to eight adjacent city spaces. If they're both empty, you get plus one attack. But, uh, the uh, Iron Fist card has a higher ceiling of attack you can get. So I will take the divided. And uh, there we go. That cost me six. Let's prep for our twist coming in. Hopefully I don't... Um... Yeah, there's no way I could have set up the top of my deck. Is there? No. Okay, here we go. So, anybody's guessed what the top card of each side's deck is. Hopefully I get to succeed at least once. Otherwise, this is going to be a shorter game than I thought. Turn 22 plays that. Scheme twist be revealed. As it is twist number five, we do the middle west section. Each player makes a demonic bargain to gain a shield officer. Let's go ahead and do it right hand side. Thank goodness. So, the good news is I avoid the wound. Bad news is I gain a shield officer on the right hand side. No tormented soul there. Left hand side, go for a twofer. We do. All right, that makes up for the bad last one. And. It's a special officer. It's Yo-Yo. That's pretty good. Okay. Although I don't really need the recruit right now. But uh, okay, I'll take it. Although that's gonna help with the that's gonna hurt with the future bargains. So where are we at with the uh, surviving the twist thing? There's gonna be uh, three more. I lose on eight. So I have to um I have to uh, pass two more demonic bargains out of the next uh, six. Yep, that's it. We'll see if I can do that. It's it's doable, but not like I can control it that well. Okay. Roundhouse sidekick. See what I get. Two attack. By the way, uh, I have a six cost, so I do get through fourth circle of Kung Fu. Or the four cost does that on its own. Uh, I'm going to pick zero this time. I reshuffled, so top card of my deck is a zero. It is that cost, so I will gain a sidekick. That sidekick is a standard sidekick. So if I play Lockheed, that'll give me a total of 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attack. Let me just double check Mandarin. I'm pretty sure 13 is accurate. I have 1, 2, 3 rings. Yep. Down from 16 to 13, which is too bad. I'm short 1. So what can I do with that much attack? 12 attack. Um, I can go... I don't know if it'll resurrect. I can go 4, 7, 11... I can take these three out for 11, so I don't need Lockheed's extra attack. Actually, no, I need to play him to get there. Otherwise, I'm at four, six, nine. I'm at nine if I don't play Lockheed. So I probably should play him. I'm gonna clear some stuff from the city, so let's play a lot. Let's play it all out. And uh, hey, Darth Agrajag, thank you for the prime sub. Very kind of you, and welcome. Again, this is three months for Darth Agrajag. Thank you so much. Two, four, five, six, seven. You have uh, filled me with energy to play this game from that sub. Hit the ring to draw before playing Electra. All right, let me see. Yeah, so fight effects before I do anything. Yeah, yeah. So I can just take this back. So let me just play it out as I was going to do because I'm not revealing anything. So that's two, four, five, six, seven. Off the top's a little ahead of me. All right, uh, 11 and then 12 after Lockheed. Now, before I fight anything, let me look at these options. So, red side is for each of your four cost heroes, draw a card. So, I have one. So, I'll draw a card with red side, and I'll draw a card with a demonic the white light as well. But there is, yeah, there is a chance I could get another one or two cost to fuel Electra. I mean, it doesn't hurt. If I fight demonic, I might get a four cost, which when I fight red side, will let me draw two cards. So, fighting the ring is the smart move at the beginning. So let me go back. So two, four, seven. We're at seven. 
And best case scenario, I draw four costs, which then draws two more cards, withdraws some two costs or something. Oh no, I won't draw with those four costs, unless I get one that does. I don't think I have one. All right, let's do it. Three attack, fighting the white light, which says draw a card, so we're gonna do that. I draw a zero cost. It's worth a shot though. And I get to draw one more card though, but I have to play Electra first. I can fight Marcus right now, but it doesn't give him anything. So I'll play Psyblades, which will put me up to um, plus four, I'm up to seven, plus one is eight after that three. Right? Two, four, five, six, seven, twelve. And I just spent four. Yep, that's correct. So let's go ahead and see if Red Psy can draw me anything interesting. Four attack, down to four. I have one four cost hero, so I draw one card. It's a trooper, which isn't going to do much of anything. So I'll play the trooper at five attack, and I'll play the agent. I'm at uh, one recruit. I'll get rid of Lockheed since he was played before I forget to do so. And then, um, if I fight Shikla, or bug Shikla's pet dragon, I can KO a gray. I can KO Maria Hill, that would be funny, it would help me with the bargains. But he might come back. Marcus is going to stay there for a while and stay three attack for a while, so I'm going to try to fight bug right now. So let's go down to four. Fight KO a card from your discard pile. I'm gonna actually KO Maria Hill, believe it or not. I'm gonna hold on to my zero cost. Now that's stupid. I'm gonna get rid of the shield agent. I have enough. If I if I pull a Maria Hill for a demonic bargain, it's my own damn fault. Alright, there we go. And uh let's see if he resurrects. It does not resurrect, so goodbye. Yeah, I just just two more, but I you know I could have really bad luck. And I gotta hit the Mandarin once, but I gotta wait for those rings to come out. You know what? I guess Mandarin kind of feels like, well, it's like Thanos in that way, but also like um, Indestructible Man, right? Because you have to wait for his villains to come out before you can even fight him. So I guess they all have that commonality. Yes, thank you. After that last ring, he is down to 12. And this, oh, I can use my die that's actually incremental, so I don't have to worry about the nonsense for now. There's uh, one more strike, and he's going to put two more in at that point. But, uh, yeah, I got some good stuff coming up on the right-hand side. Let's see if I can get to 12. Get some tactics off of him. We got Laughing Skull coming in. Hey, Grey Warden, if you're still here, I forgot where Mandarin ranked on your um, on your scale. Uh, Laughing Skull, fifth circle of Kung Fu. Escape each player reveals a hero that costs five or more, or they discard a card. I do not have a card that costs five here, so at this current moment, Laughing Skull is at uh, 10 attack before I maybe get a five cost in hand. I have a pretty full deck, so I won't be able to shuffle the discard pile in until I get the card that does so. So let's start with um, dual existence. Unless there's anything I want to wall crawl. Nah. All right. Dual existence. Top two cards on my deck. <sighs> Not good. One, two, three, four. I should probably take as much attack as I can get. So I'll put the uh, agent back. I'm going to draw cards anyway. So, um, Let's play the sidekick. Draw two. I, sh I should have played the sidekick first, is what I should have done. One and a wound. Perfect. Wonderful. Beautiful. All right. Let's uh, do a danger sense. One attack. Danger sense two. An instinct. Does this reveal any scheme? Twist. Gain a shard. Top two cards of the villain deck. Hey. Guess who's getting a shard? This guy. Here we go. There's a shard. Which is represented by, I don't know, mystical Talo energy. And uh, I got one attack for the danger sense. Let's put the twist. Is there any way I can set up things? I'll put the twist second. I wish I could set this up to avoid. Right hand side's got. Um, I can reveal. But not this turn. I don't think there's any way. No, dual existence. No, that's, that's the thing about these. I can set everything up, but I draw a new hand of cards at the end of the turn, so I can't do that. The right-hand side is not going to be able to do that at all. It's it's better for demonic bargains that you can trigger when you fight them, but for things at the top of the turn, not much you can do. <sighs> okay, well, I'm just going to have to put the... I'll put the twist second. Let's get this shard over here so I remember I have it. Plus a total of four attack... 
Rooftops are actually empty right now, so this happens for the first time. To attack, patrol the rooftops. If it's empty, you get plus one attack. I'm at seven. I could get eight if I spend my shard, and uh, I still don't get through Laughing Skull's fifth circle of Kung Fu over here. So I guess the only thing I can fight is Marcus for three, which I'll happily do. Down to four. And uh, I could have rested this turn, but I'll get a sidekick to end, end my turn here. The more sidekicks I get, the more likely I get to shuffle in the Shang-Chi rare. Alright, what do I get? Okay, that was a shield agent. I wish I didn't have to remove that from the top of the deck. I asked for the twist in two turns. Or I set it up so I have it in two turns, so. Just gotta pass one, and I gotta pass one again. Turn 24 is going to be that ring that I revealed. And that ring is incandescence, the flame blast. Fight, you may KO a card from your discard pile. All right. Let's do the combo that you're supposed to do, which is dual existence followed by a roundhouse sidekick. So let's go dual existence, top two of my deck. First strike, which I can't play as the first card of my deck. I will draw first strike, put the agent back. Now we'll go ahead and play roundhouse sidekick. Two total attack. Uh, I guess zero. Hey, look. Sorry, I cheated. I looked at the card already. And uh, I get a sidekick. It is a standard sidekick. A lot of those because it's those or Lockheed with this setup. I'll play first strike because, you know, might as well for one attack. Let's um, play ninjutsu. One more card draw. And it is an agent. And I get the two recruit from the covert trigger. Followed by acrobatic kung fu. Giving me two more attack plus one more for patrolling the empty rooftops. And then I've got one, two, three recruit. Up to five recruit. Um, I don't have a 5 cost, do I? Nope, not on this side. Definitely not on this side. So, let's fight the Flame Blast for 4 out of... or 4 attack out of my 6. What's on my discard pile? Any wounds here? I don't think there's any wounds here. There aren't. So let's just get rid of another Agent. And again, hope that doesn't hurt me later. Okay. I didn't have to do it, but I might as well. Now Mandarin's down to 11. A little bit closer to hitting range. Five recruit. I can get Warlord of Open Spaces. Wasn't so dead set on getting Psyblaze to work, which I haven't gotten more than one attack from it this entire time. So, although it seems pretty empty. I'm going to take it. I got no time to lose. And there's another Seek the Empty Mind. Okay, let's go. That was a lot of... I just drew a lot of zero-cost cards, so I'm not very optimistic about how this this twist is going to go. But it's here regardless, whether I like it or not. So, claim souls for demons, twist number six. Same as the fourth and the fifth. All right. I'll be happy if just one succeeds. Left hand first. I can't believe it. I got a shield officer. Never been happier to see one. Okay, right hand side. Am I going to be lucky again? I'm not, which I kind of expected, but uh, only one. So wound goes out on the right, and we got a tormented soul. I just have to pass one more in the next two twists, and I'll be alive from the twist. But hopefully there's a twist tucked way down deep, and I don't have to worry about that one at all. One can always hope. All right, so I've got shuffling footwork. So here's the combo. You ready? I can do the shuffling footwork combo. And then with dual existence, I can draw the rare Shang-Chi. Because it's in my discard pile. Now, that's five attack. That's all the attack I'll get. But it will be enough to take out Laughing Skull. So let's play a dual existence first so we can trigger all that. Wait a second. What's your plan? If I do a recruit first, I can get, uh, can I get, seek? no, I can't get Seek the Empty Mind. Oh, I'm supposed to have only, oh, you know, you know how Yo-Yo entered the setup? Where is she? I should replace her with a standard officer. Here's how she's stuck into the setup. 
Uh, because you only said to use standard officers, I just flipped the stack over and put a bunch of standard ones on top. So I didn't um, sort them out because I do only be one one type, and I forgot mid game. So we're gonna swap out Yo Yo with a standard one. She was in the movie, don't you remember? All right, Maria Hill. All right, back in the discarded pile where she belongs. Thank you for catching that as well. That is off the cuffs rules, so I'm glad, glad he was the one who caught that. Okay, I still have the shard as well. So let's go ahead and do the thing. Dual existence, top two cards in my deck. I miss more things when I've had a long day, so I appreciate the help. Um, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm, I'm engaged in the setup too. I mean, heck, I guess I'll do this. I'll take all terrain, I'll put the wound back. Now we're gonna get the rare by shuffling footwork. Whoa, there it is, two recruit. You may shuffle your discard pile into your deck. I will do so, setting aside the rare Shang-Chi wherever it is, there it is. Shuffle it all up. It now goes on top of my deck. Muscle memory. Once you get this working, it's pretty unique in Legendary and pretty fun. Gives you that control. You just get get the rare back when you want it. All right, it's back on top of my deck, which I will now draw with dual existence. And the wound is no longer on top of my deck because I uh, shuffled. So I play dual existence top two. Oh, the wound's back there anyway. I shuffled, it's still there. All right, I'll take muscle memory, of course. Which is going to uh, get rid of Laughing Skulls. Circle. I'll play Muscle Memory for 5 attack. That's really funny. The board is still there. Um, okay. All Terrain Barbarian. Sewers are empty, so I get 3 more Recruit. I'm at 5, which is great. Agent, Agent. 7 Recruit. Now, before I play Shuffling Footwork again, I want to do a Recruit. Um, so... Enough for a rare that I don't have out here, but I can at least get another Seek the Empty Mind. It's a great card to go with all the shuffling of discard piles. It's five recruit. Watch me pull a rare now. All right. Nope. Just... You know what? Wouldn't hurt me to take a first strike over here. I don't have one. Although it's only two attacks, so I'm going to still avoid it. I'll get a sidekick, and then I'll reshuffle my deck. So two more standard sidekick. And now let's play the other shuffling footwork. Shuffling in that sidekick and seek the empty mind into the deck. And then we'll fight Laughing Skull. At the very end. The order didn't really matter. It doesn't have a fight effect. But uh, I felt like waiting until the end to do that. And I get two more recruit on top of that. And again, I can't take more than one sidekick, which I should know. All right, Laughing Skull gone for five. Left hand side. And I'll end my turn there. All right, getting close. Let's see what this reshuffle did for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bunch of nothing is what it did for me. These wounds are coming back to hurt me. Turn 26, Ghost Deadpool, who is fill in the blank. Uh, fight Fate for Resurrection, then Cross Dimensional Deadpool Rampage, Escape Cross Dimensional Deadpool Rampage. So am I changing Deadpool to anything else for the Rampage? If, if I am, you let me know, otherwise he is Deadpool until I hear otherwise. Um, okay, Peace of Meditation, When Wu's Wife, ooh, that's rough. Okay, Ninjutsu, drawing a card, that's a reshuffle over here on the right, which is fine. There's a lot of graves that aren't going to get in there. Monster Rampage. You got it. I forget who's got monsters, so I gotta check on that. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm shuffling up the deck. Here's a card draw. Warlord of Open Spaces. It's a great one to draw right now. I get to two recruit as well. And I will patrol two adjacent city spaces. Three base attack. And then I will patrol the rooftops and the streets. Why not? If they're both empty, you get plus one attack. Not for each space, just total. And then I've got uh, three more recruit, five, six, seven. So I can't fight anything for four, even with the Warlord stuff, which is fine because I get to activate Peaceful Meditation if I don't fight anything this turn. So let's just do some recruiting. I'll take the other first strike. I have a deck large enough. I can take two of them. And now what? 
I'll take the other side blades, of course. Okay. That's a good pickups. And I draw seven cards. Let's see if they're a good seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Decent. Speaking of decent, this hand is not that. Turn 27, another red side comes in once again. Yeah, I, I assumed you meant Monster Metropolis. Uh, okay, Circle of Kung Fu, four. Which is going to give him uh, eight attack right now. One more dual existence. I got so many early, I'm doing this so often. Okay, Wound Trooper. Let's take the Wound right now, put the Trooper back. We're probably going to rest this turn anyway. Although, again, the more I rest, the harder it is to succeed on those bargains, but I might get one before I even go down the rest of this deck. That's going to be one, two, four recruit. Do not have four recruit attack this turn. I'm going to rest anyway. Here to both of these wounds. Make it a bug rampage since bug is closer to the 12 as minions. Okay. Cross dimensional bug rampage it is on Ghost Deadpool. All right, um, I can shuffle so I can get the rare on top of my deck again, but I can't draw it this turn. This this next turn, I mean. Okay. I did not watch the Quantumania trailer because I, you know, I'm trying not to watch all the trailers. I assume it was very good and hype-inducing. Uh, turn 28. Animal Trainer, the one special bystander, is in the villain, the villain deck. One of the few special bystanders. Which is um, training all the mystical beasts of Talo, I assume. When you rescue this bystander, each instinct and or covert hero currently in the HQ costs one less this turn. So, could be good for later. Getting captured by Red Sai, and uh, Red Sai loses the circle for now. Loses the bonus. Let's, of course, start with first strike. If this is the first card you play this turn, you get plus one attack. Plus two attack. If I can get Psy Blades this turn, I'll be pretty happy because it will count this sidekick. Speaking of which, let's uh, play the sidekick. For two, we've got one, two. I got it. All right. So before I play side blades, I want to see if there's any way I can draw some more cards. I don't think there is, though. Um, let's One of these roundhouse sidekicks will succeed, at least one. Two more attack. Top card, I'm going to say zero again. It is a two cost. So I fail that one. I'll play the second roundhouse sidekick. I'll say two this time. And, hey, look at me. I got it right. So let me go ahead and get um, a sidekick. That's how Daredevil works. That's six. That's seven. Eight. Attack. I can hit the man. I can hit Mandarin this turn. Without even having to play side blades yet. That's up to ten. I patrol the rooftops. It's empty. I'm at eleven attack. And before I do anything else, I don't remember what Mandarin's tactics do. There is a chance one of them could give me some more one or two costs by drawing cards, but I don't remember. But regardless, I am going to fight Mandarin, so I might as well do it now. 411, before he gets another Master Strike. Let's go ahead and hit him. Alright, first tactic. It's about time. Is interwining power. Interwining? Intertwining. Inter... Long day. Intertwining powers. <laughs> Each other player without at least two Mandarin's rings in their victory pile gains a wound. I'm pretty sure right hand side's... Or left hand side's got two... I could be wrong. Oh, I am wrong. Only one. So, <laughs> thank you so much off the cuff for the gifted sub for hitting the mastermind. Uh, that's really cool of you. Thank you so much. And uh, I will take this wound in your honor for not having, on the left-hand side, for not having it. Mandarin's rings on that side. They kept getting stolen. So, wound over there. But this tactic is exploded, and I get it. Uh, okay, let's get some more attack. I'll play Maria Hill for two recruit, and I will play... <laughs> <laughs> I will play side blades. That's four. I've got one attack for each hero I've played this turn that costs one or two. Oh, thank you, MVL Marcus. I haven't drank in water. Drank in you guys are just going to have to ac uh, accept this for the rest of this game. This is just the way it's going to be. I'm not... No shame. All right. Uh, I played a um, first strike and a sidekick, so I get two more attack. That's six. Do I dare try and fight Ghost Deadpool? I'm pretty sure the answer I have is no. So I'm going to fight Red Psy instead. And uh, how many cards I have that cost four? Oh, I've got two of them. Oh, shoot. I should have done this first before I fought Mandarin. Because then I could have drawn three cards, maybe got more Psy Blades. I already revealed the tactic, so I can't take it back. But that would have been cool. 
because before I played Psy Blades, I wouldn't have enough to hit Red Psy. Whatever, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Fight, draw a card for each of your heroes that cost four. I have three heroes that cost four. So these are all played already. I draw three cards. One, two, three. Oh, I got some dual existences anyway. So there we go. And uh, we rescue the animal trainer, cheapening some stuff. Anything that's instinct or covert costs one less when there's third right here, just so I remember. Um, so that's for this turn. All right, let's keep this going a little bit. Dual existence, top two. Wound and sidekick. I'll take the sidekick. I'll put the wound back down. Um, oh, yes, they would have buffed Electra. So, yeah, that would have been a better move to, to hit him first. But um, whatever. I'll take what I can get. Sidekick. That's the fun of this game. All right. This would also have buffed Electra. Maybe I can keep drawing. I can get to the second side blaze. That would be great. Okay, draw a card. I got two recruit. I'll play the other dual existence. Top two. One, two. Take an agent. Put the other one back. Yeah, that would have been a much better way to go. <laughs> Three. Up to six recruit and another wound. Everything's cheaper by one. I'll take this in Jetsu for one recruit. I mean, I'll, I'll, here you go. I'll take this one for one recruit. Yes, yes. One, down to five. Ah, oh, darn, this doesn't apply to the um, bystander because it was already currently in HQ. So there's Silent Meditation, which is what I'm gonna pick up if I get the opportunity. When you play Silent Meditation, the next hero you recruit, the turn goes into your hand and Marvel Knights get plus two recruit, which is better for an early game, you know? But still, um, I've got the animal trainer out here for everything else. I could take, you know what? I'm just going to take this moon dragon card for, oh no, it's, it's ranged. I can't do that. I could take static warning for cheap or all terrain for cheap, but I can't take that. I'm just going to go with a sidekick and call it and really try to get the side blades to work again. Animal trainer goes to the victory pile and... I had my turn. I'm feeling okay. I still could lose to the scheme. Oh, Mandarin's still at 11. There is one more strike that could be anywhere that's going to put him back up to 13. But I should be able to take those rings out pretty quickly. I hope more rings come in so I can just continue to weaken, weaken him. I think there's still some more left. There's, what, three in the escape pile? There's definitely more left. Moving over. Turn 29 is another ring. All right. I fished what I wished there. Uh, Spectral, the Disintegration, Beam, Fight, KO, one of your heroes. This is the climax of the end of the movie. It feels like it. Let's do the Acrobatic Kung Fu. Rooftops are empty, so I got a total of three attack. Peaceful Meditation, two more Recruit. And I could do a shuffle. Is that rare still in there? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. I might as well. So uh, first, let me see what I'm going to recruit first. Uh, four recruit. And four total attack. So let's fight the ring. Fight KO one of your heroes. Let me go ahead and KO a shield agent. And get rid of the ring, which is going to reduce... The Mastermind down to 10 attack from 16. I got six rings. There's three in the escape pile. That means there's one more in the deck if my calculations are correct. And I didn't miss anything. I'm going to shuffle now. We'll play shuffling footwork. Two more recruit. Shuffle this up. Take the rare out. And just draw it for my next turn. And then I'll, I don't know, probably take... Psychokinetic Blast just to try to avoid that last Master Strike for as long as possible with Danger Sense if I get the opportunity. Or it could show up early. Who knows? Okay, false memory on top. Let's get the uh, Moon Dragon card. I've been avoiding this whole time. And uh, another Shang-Chi. I'm very excited for your um, What If Finale. I, I think it's the second to last one. Episode 7, I think? I think that's what I'm looking forward to with the way you designed it, if, I, if I'm remembering it correctly. 
That's gonna be interesting. All right. Here we go. Turn 30 is a twist. I just have to pass one and I'm safe from twist number eight after this. There are nine episodes. What's the one I'm thinking of? The penultimate one. So that would be episode eight. Okay. Um, yes, let's do this thing. Right hand side. I think that's the one. That's the one that I like this the setup for. Is that the one where I don't want to spoil it for anybody who doesn't want to see it yet? Um, oh no, that's totally the one I think. It's oh, either either episode eight, or either set uh, setup eight or nine is the one I'm thinking of. Both look fun. It is the one. Okay, yes. All right, doing stuff. This is twist number seven. Right hand side. Give me a zero for one of these two. Top part of the right hand side is side blade, so that's bad for multiple reasons. So it's not. A zero cost. I get the wound. I lose side blades, which I would have drawn right now, which, which is fun. So, I, and I get the one grievous wound that's in here. So that couldn't have gone worse. And then an officer goes. It's a standard officer goes to the pile. That is another. That's fifth tormented soul. Left hand side has to succeed. Please be a zero cost. Please be a zero cost. It is. Remember what I said about I could hail Maria Hill, but I've decided not to. Well. That's what I get. That's what I get. So wound, tormented soul, officer stack next to the, the pile. So that's the tormented soul. All right, I lose. I still have a chance to not lose to the scheme, but it's gonna come down to the very final twist. We'll see. Maybe I can win before that. I got one tactic. We'll try to get the rest. That was on the left-hand side. And I think that's where I said it, right? Okay, so what am I going to do here? Let's do dual existence first. There we go. Top two, blah, blah, blah. It is first strike, which uh, I don't need to take right now. Okay. I mean, it doesn't make me feel better, <laughs> necessarily, but still. Um, so I put first strike on top. I will play roundhouse sidekick to attack. I'll pick one. The top card is the one cost card, so I get a sidekick, and it is a uh, Lockheed again or Morris. I'm sorry, and that's going to give me four total attack. It's a four and two on turn third. That's delightful. I can't hit anything. I can get a sidekick because I gained one. I can recruit one now, and it is a standard. And I'll call that a turn. And boy, what a turn was it! This one shard better help me win the game. If there's another side blades. I got one cost and I got two cost. All right, this is shaping up to be a pretty good turn. Coming up next. To make up for the side blades, I lost. All right, turn 31 is another Laughing Skull, fifth circle. He's at 10, but not exactly because I have Muscle Memory, which I'll play again for five attack. Six total attack. Where's my second Muscle Memory when I need it? Sewers not empty, so that's. that's uh, I guess I could empty the sewers and then play All Terrain. That'll give me three. Four, five, six recruit. Okay. I'm still afraid of hitting Deadpool. I don't need to do that. So let's hit Laughing Skull for a five. Because I'm not going to hit the Mastermind. Left hand side. Um, now we'll play All Terrain Barbarian, which will just trigger just for fun. Uh, two recruit, Patrol the Sewers is empty. I get a third recruit. Uh, Maria Hill gives me two more. That is five recruit, and the shield agent makes six. I, I want to take shuffling footwork just because I have the rare, and every shuffling footwork I take helps get it back to the top of the deck. So I'm going to take that for that reason. And uh, first strike. I'm going to get a sidekick this time. Coming up short, though, on the attack. All right, I got the Shuffling Footwork Dual Existence combo, which is great. That means I'm going to be able to draw. So let me just play this out before I move on, just to see. So this is drawing the rare. That's five attack, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can hit the Mandarin on the left-hand side unless a Master Strike comes up. Cut to Villain Deck Reveal. It's never going to be a Master Strike. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that always is the case? 
All right. I'm going to I'm going to shake that off. All right. Here we go. My master strike each player chooses the mandarin's ring from the victory pile to enter the city. Any player who didn't have a ring gains a wound instead. Yeah, I can just hit both rings this turn. I'm going to have enough attack. So it's not the biggest deal. It's just funny that it happened at the moment that I didn't want it to happen. So, uh, speaking of rings, I have two choices from the left-hand side. I should start with the right, though. That should be the... They're supposed to start with the active player. We've got uh, flipped upside down things. I've got incandescence. You may kill a card from your discard pile. Draw a card. Uh, swap cards around. Reveal the top card of your deck. You may KO it. I think... Uh, What's the best effect? Probably Daimonic Fight Draw card. Sim simple, elegant. And a left hand side puts one in as well. Okay, one of your heroes. Or reorder the top three cards of the villain deck. Let's do the reorder. So these two go in. Um, he's down to, uh, he's up to 12. He's gonna go back down to 10 very soon. These have four attack each, just to be consistent. All right, first strike, two attack, dual existence, top two. I mean, if I take the Warlord, that's going to be a total of, I got two, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 attack. I can just hit Mandarin instead of the ring this turn. Or I can save Warlord for the turn afterwards, hit two rings. For two, four, uh, yeah, four, six, eight, ten. Eight of my ten. I think I'd rather hit the rings and save the warlord. Let me just, okay, let me do the math on that again. Yep, that's gonna be four, six, eight, ten, fourteen attack. That's true. Oh, I forgot, I forgot this math. Yeah, so when I hit the ring, he's gonna go down from. 12 to 11. I want to be one short. Am I missing something? And let's do the math again. That's 2, 4, four 5, yeah. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. I'll 14 total attack. Okay. No, I'll have 14 attack, right? And I'll hit the ring. I'll go down to 10 attack. He'll go down to 11. I mean, there is a chance that could still work if I hit Daimonic and I draw a card that has attack on it. So that could still work. But uh, chances are that's not going to happen. Okay, yeah. All right. So with that in mind, I will leave Warlord and I will draw the Shield Agent. Let's just play it all out as I was. So uh, Psy Blades, I get four attack up to six plus two more for the two one or two costs I played up to eight. And ten. But, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, you mentioned that so I could check. But sometimes I do miss it. In fact, oftentimes I do. Well, let's see what would have happened. I'll, I'll fight Demonic first for four. We'll see if I would have drawn that attack. Should I draw? Oh, it's Warlord. Hold on. I knew what that's going to be. Do it. I'm going to draw it anyway. Shoot. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I have to draw it if I want to fight the ring. So I'll draw it anyway. I meant what was the, the card underneath it, but I can't see that right now. All right. Whatever. So now I'm going to play Warlord because I might as well. I'll pick the bridge. Uh... I patrol the bridge and the street, so I get up to 9, plus one more is 10. Mandarin is down to, yeah, here's the thing, he's down to 11. So I could try to fight Deadpool, but I'll fight Nightbringer first. And then I can fight Deadpool, so he won't resurrect. How's that? Um, down to 6. Top 3 cards of the villain deck. Thin villain deck, I didn't realize how thin it was. Top 3, not top 4. Here we go. Bystander, Man-Thing, and Rankai. None of them are worth 2vp or less. But um, none of these will make Ghost Deadpool resurrect. So let's do Bystander, then Man Thing, then Rand Kai. And uh, take it out. Okay, so I fight Ghost Deadpool, who's in the rooftops. Cross Dimensional Monster Metropolis Rampage. And I haven't done a Cross Dimensional in a while. I believe it's both players have to check. Let me just double check. Right hand side's got uh, Bug, and left hand side's got uh, Marcus, so I'll be safe from that. So let's hit him for five. He does not resurrect, and Rampage gives me no wounds, so goodbye. 
Okay. Now I'll get a sidekick and call it Empty City. He's out of 10, by the way, once again. Mandarin is. I should be able to hit him this turn because he's going to get a bystander, and I'm going to knock it out of his hands. The bystander, that is. Let's hit him for the second time. Here we go, turn 33. Is that bystander going right to Mandarin? Now, what's the smartest way to play this? Do I want to use the sidekick before or after I shuffle my discard pile in? Discard pile's got some good stuff in it, but also a lot of junk. Let's start with a dual existence so I can activate the combo that I mentioned earlier. Top two. Trooper. Shang-Chi. All right, I'll draw Shang-Chi. That's great. That's even more attack. I'll put the trooper back. Now we will shuffle the discard pile. Into the deck. Immediately. And then play the things that care about no discard pile. Setting aside the rare. Right here. I get even more attack than I thought. I don't think I can hit him twice unless this sidekick is uh, very generous to me. I'm going to get 15 attack from all this. But to hit him twice, it'll take 19. So if this sidekick gets me four more attack, it's possible. Also, I have dual existence to draw more. So it's... Still possible. Okay, shuffled in. Muscle memory on top. I get my two recruit. Followed by, do I dual existence or do I side? I'm going to draw the top two anyway, so I might as well sidekick first. I will play the sidekick to draw two cards. It is muscle memory and an agent. Let's play muscle memory for five attack. Let's play both Seek the Empty Mind cards. Since I shuffled in, I have no discard pile, so each one gives me five. So that's plus 10 for a total of 15 attack after I play both of them. And uh, let's just hit him first and see what happens. So hitting Mandarin for 10 attack. Bystander is rescued. And I get this tactic, which is going to be... Circles unbroken. Draw a card for each Mandarin's ring in your victory pile. This is the side where I don't have it, uh, that many. I have one. So it could have been better if I hit them on the other side. I draw one card. So it's uh, shuffling footwork. Cool. Nice. Not attack on it, though. All right. Let's see if I can get uh, five more attack with uh, just this card draw. Top two cards on my deck. Hmm. I guess I'll take all terrain and put Peace Meditation back. Patrol of the Sewers is empty, so I'm up to a 5 recruit here. And then Agent 6, 7. Hmm. So I could take Electra and shuffle her into my deck, but is there really any point in doing that? She gives me a bunch of recruit. Puts uh, cards right into my hand when I recruit them. Plus Marvel Knights, 2 more recruit. This could be decent to help work with uh, the Shang-Chi rare that I guarantee. Right side is probably never going to get their hands on this. Plus, if the last strike happened, or the last strike already happened, so I can't do the thing where I put him back in. You know what? Yeah. Why the heck not? I'm going to go ahead and uh, recruit Silent Meditation for seven. Just because I can. And uh, we will play Shuffling Footwork to shuffle it into the deck. That's two more recruit, by the way. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I have back up to two more. So uh, let's shuffle in Electra. If nothing else, she can uh, give me something powerful right in my hand when I need it. Oh, you know what? I'll recruit a sidekick first before I shuffle them all back in. Because they have two left. So we'll take a sidekick and then I'll... Oh, no, I can't do that because shuffling footwork had to be played first. Never mind. Never mind. I get the sidekick after. I got ahead of myself. So I shuffle that up. Then I recruit a sidekick to my discard pile. There we go. All right. Two more hits and I can manage it. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. There she is, right there, top of my deck. So I can put something cool in my hand on that next turn. Gracias, Mikey. I needed that. Okay, villain deck. What do we got? Not that many cards left. It's Man Thing. Oh, you know what the next two cards are? It's Man Thing and then that other one I forgot, but it's not going to hurt me yet. Okay, ambush each monster metropolis villain, including this one, captures a bystander, fight fateful resurrection. 
We know a, a villain is next. I forget who's next, but uh, look, there's only um five, six cards left. I could lose to this the, the scheme. This game can go any direction. Let's go with Acrobatic Kung Fu, Patrol the Rooftops, so I get three attack there. I just need ten. Can I get ten? I got five. Maybe I can get ten. Let's uh, sidekick first. Sidekick first. That's another sidekick and a wound. Let's play the other sidekick. It's uh, off uh, Agent and Moon Dragon. All right, come on. Nijutsu time. Throw another card. First strike. I get two recruit. This is not going to give me the recruit I needed, the attack I needed. First strike gives me one attack. I have no idea what the top card of my deck is. I'm going to take a shot at it, and I'm going to say zero again, and it is a two-cost Electra. Yeah, that's only six attack. I can fight Man-Thing. He won't come back. So I've got two more recruit. One, two, three more recruit. Oh, two. Oh, now I get seven recruit. Now I could have gotten Electra. I'm at eight, actually. You know what? Electra wouldn't have really helped me over here anyway. I'm glad I got her where I did. Um... I guess we'll fight Man-Thing, or I could rest the wound away. And if I do, I could uh, Peaceful Meditation an extra card next turn. Let's just fight a villain. That's what we're here to do, fight villains. Uh, fight Man-Thing for five. Get the Bystander. And just to remind myself what the top is, I get to look at it. It's Rand Kai as the next villain deck card that doesn't make it resurrect. I'll take another first strike. That would be... Uh, that could be very foolish. I'll take it anyway. No, I won't. I won't. I won't take anything. So there. Serves you all right. I'm really worried about that last twist, can you tell? I haven't KO'd that much, but I have gotten rid of a lot of wounds. Three, four, five, six. Still not meeting that threshold. I'm running out of time. Running out of time. Rand Kai comes in. Sixth circle of Kung Fu, but I have the rear. All right. Let's do a dual existence followed by a danger sense. Here we go. Top two cards of my deck. I will draw the sidekick, put the other one back. Let's play the sidekick. Give me something good. One, two. Okay. I can work with that. Acrobatic Kung Fu. Three attack after we patrol the rooftops. We can actually do the Psychokinetic Blast. Um, one attack. Danger Sense, four. I'm not going to shuffle the villain deck, but I get up to four attack. We'll see what the last... Uh, here we go. One, two, three. The last four of the five cards in the villain deck. All right. This is great. The next card would have been a twist, so I can avoid that for a little bit longer. We will put the twist on the very bottom. Thank you very much. I get three attack. I'm so glad I got that... <laughs> That uh, Moon Dragon one I did, because I, I could have lost. I'll actually check to see if I would have lost. Um, if I'm allowed to. They all have Resurrection. So it doesn't really matter what order. I'll go Bug, Man, Thing, Deadpool. Alright. I have 8 total attack, and if I play Electra, I can hit Mandarin if I recruit something into my hand. It's 8 attack. So here's Silent Meditation. When you play Silent Meditation, the next hero you recruit this turn goes into your hand. That's five plus Marvel Knights. I did play with Chang Shi. I got two more recruit, and I'm at ten. Recruit. Exactly, yeah. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna take. The next hero. If I take Seek the Empty Mind, that'll let me do it. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna recruit Seek the Empty Mind. Electra puts it into my hand. And it's also a card that'll help me later. Um, so I'll play Seek the Empty Mind. I don't have an empty discard pile, but three attack is enough to get me up to hitting range. Let's go ahead and hit him again. Okay, third tactic. Ooh, a lot of text. If this was not a oh, Dragon of Heaven spaceship, if this was not already a location, KO up to two of your heroes, and this card enters the city as a location with this ability. Whenever you fight a villain here, each other player reveals their hand and KOs one of their non-gray heroes fight KO up to two of your heroes wouldn't it be funny if I got this earlier and I use this to farm away the other side's entire deck until I passed enough twists to survive um, anyway 
This goes at, into the location above the sewers, and we're just gonna... I don't want to zoom out. I don't feel like zooming out, so we're just gonna... Put it here. Okay. One more tactic, and the final blow, and that's it. I'm gonna take the Warlord. It's always gonna give me five attack at this point. Okay. I got three turns to, to twist time. This is not one of those good turns, so... Hopefully I can make it worth it. Okay, this is going to be a bug coming in. I have to remind myself what the location does. It's when you fight a villain here. It's not a restriction. All right. Let's start with... Oh, I got to start with first strike. <laughs> we are, yes. I'm very happy. It's a down-to-the-wire game. Those are the best. All right. I don't know what it is about these MCU setups, but there's a pattern. Warlord gives me... Uh, Four more attack. I said five before. I meant four. Um, so I'm at the six attack. Let's see if Ninjutsu can... Oh, I, got, I need three more attack after the trooper. That's seven. I got two card draws. I need three attack and two card draws. It's possible. Here we go. First card draw is a trooper. That's one more attack. I get two recruit as well. So that's eight. I just need uh, two attack from the second Ninjutsu. Come on, come on. I draw a card. It is an agent. So that's a bust. Unfortunately, but I got two more recruit. And I get a third recruit there, or a fifth recruit, technically. So uh, I get through the sixth circle, right? I don't. I only have a five cost. So uh, this is 12. I have no discard pile for bug. And if I do fight bug there, I have to deal with this. If I hadn't let those Mandarin's rings escape earlier, I could have hit Mandarin this turn. I can't fight the location. Whenever you fight a villain, each other player builds ahead and kills one of their non great heroes. It's not worth it. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind KOing on Maria Hill this way, honestly. And I get to fight. That's fight the location, so. Okay. That'll be fun. Let's do it. Oh, no. You know what? There's no point. There's no point. I don't want to do it. So, I will end my turn. By taking Quiver of Thunderbolts, because even though it's not a 1 or 2 cost... It itself is arranged. I have a lot of instinct and covert, so if I get this back, more often than not, I will be drawing a card with Spectrum. And we'll get a sidekick. And call it there. I have not a great hand over here on the left. This is a better hand. This is a hit the mastermind hand. Almost. This is four, five, six. Oh, it is hit the mastermind. We have four, five, six. Oh, we have two, six, eight, ten. Hitting the mastermind over here. On the right-hand side. If only I could have hit him this turn, I could have won the game. But I might get a twist. I will get the twist. So now I have to survive the twist. Okay, Man-Thing comes in. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. I am going to have to survive the twist. There's no, no way around it. <sighs> Unless... Ugh, I can't. Well. All I've got this turn is two, four... Six, seven, eight recruit. Okay. It's going to come down to the last twist. There's no way for me to put a zero cost on top of my deck. Oh, thank you. I, I was so into it. I totally didn't miss the man things effect. I, you know what? Because I'm like, I'm not going to fight these guys. No, I mean, Ranka doesn't get one. Bug does get one, and Manathine gets one. Gracias for that. Okay. Let's take Acrobatic Kung Fu for four. We'll take Quiver Thunderbolts. I just need all the attack I can get. Although, nah, never mind. I'll, let's, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be smart. That's the only thing I'm going to take this turn. And I will end my turn. I'll draw seven. Okay. Not a great hand either. What is happening? And I'm hitting Mandarin next turn. But that is the last turn before a twist. We'll see. Maybe I can hit him twice if I'm super lucky. If the sidekick keeps drawing sidekicks and, and chains. Maybe, but I'm not going to bank on it. All right, we got Ghost Deadpool coming in. And after that is the twist. That is where I put it. 
I bought myself three turns. What did I do with them? Starting with first strike to attack. If this psychic is really awesome, I'll be very happy. One, okay. Okay! All right, that was an awesome sidekick. So let me just keep count of how many one and two costs I've played because the sidekick's going away. All right, I like where this is going. Um, we're going to play the second sidekick. All right. Can I do it? Can I actually win? I don't think I have enough yet. That's going to be two. The counter's going to go up to three, four, five. That's five extra attack. Let's keep drawing stuff. Let's dual exit. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's draw first. Uh, draw a card. It is a wound. And no wall crawl with attack on it. That wound is unfortunate. I get to recruit, though. Alright, dual existence. Give me something good, please. Top two cards in my deck. Draw one, put the other back. I guess I'll get sidekick. It's not a two cost, but uh, it's four attack. Or it's two attack. Okay, here we go. Sidekick. That's four total. Um, I played two sidekicks, right? Just two. So I've played three three more cards that cost two or one. All right, I choose I choose zero. I get it right. I get a sidekick. It is going to be... Did I run out of sidekicks? Oh, no, I just put them over here. Okay, here, standard sidekick. Probably won't matter. Trooper. Five. Forgot about Lockheed. I'll play Lockheed right now. I didn't have a ranged. That's seven. That's another two cost played. We will go with Electra up to 11. And I got six more. I'm at 17 attack, which is three short. And before I hit the Mandarin, I don't remember what his last tactic does. Is there any way I can get three attack from anything else in the city? What is the fight effect in the location? That's KO Heroes. Paid for Resurrection. Now, nah, nothing has a draw card effect. So I'm just going to have to hit him, hope for the best. All right, hitting the Mastermind. Seven left over. Is this one of his good tactics? Does he have any good tactics left? I don't even know. All right. It is... Ring seek their true hand. Each other player reveals a tech hero or puts a Mandarin's ring from their victory file into the escape hall. Oh, cool. We're making them stronger. All right. Well... Pretty sure I have no tech whatsoever. Yep. So... We're just going to make it a little stronger at the end. All right, escape. He goes up to 11. Yeah, so definitely can. I'm, I'm a little short. So I am at the mercy of the final twist. I might as well take somebody else out while I'm at it. I do get through Rankai's circle. I know anything I fight with resurrection is going to resurrect because there's a twist next. So I will fight Rankai for six, just in case. And I'll get a sidekick. I forget if I took one already. I think I might have. You know what? No, I, got, I gained one. Whatever. I don't need to get one. I'll end my turn there. Because this might be my last turn. Okay, there was a shield agent on top of my deck. So I'm really upset I had to shuffle that. Two, three. That would have made me survive a little. Oh, the second one. All right. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. All right, moment of truth, everybody. Top card of the villain deck is a scheme twist. There it is. The last one. I just need to pull one zero cost from the top of one of these decks. If I fail both, I lose the game with one card left in the villain deck. Let's see, starting with my own side. It is. No comment. No comment. No comment at all. All right. Here it is. Moment of truth. Let me add the last tormented, second to last tormented soul. Here we go. I got my buttons ready to say victory or, or evil wins if I lose this. Here we go. In three, two, one. I have never been happier to see a Grievous Wood in my entire life. I'll give you some backyard uh, inside baseball right here. Um... I, normally, I, I can't feel the cards, but this one felt like it's not used that often. And I'm like, oh no, it can't be a starter card. I, I sometimes can tell. But it was a Grievous Wound, that's why. <sighs> Never been happier to see one of these in my entire life. All right. Well, I get a friendly officer. 
And I, I've saved for this game. It means I got one turn left. I might still lose this thing. But, uh, this is my, I get, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. Almost maximum Tormented Souls are coming out. Can I get 11 attack on this turn? I have three. And then I have four, five, six, seven. All right. If I play all this out, I've got three. Yep. Each different cost. No. <laughs> Now here's the thing, if I play Reveal Identity right now, I get seven total attack. But if I play the sidekick, I'm gonna lose it. But if I do that, I don't have enough attack to win. So I think I wanna play the sidekick first. Hopefully I get something good. I'm gonna have to play, uh... I'm gonna have to play the sidekick first. So sidekick first. Give me something good, here we go. Cool. Better. That's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that's I'm one short. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, no. Wait, never mind. Dangerous Sense has one card left, so I can't get it. Never mind. Never mind. I can't make it. I have one card left in the villain deck, and I only get Dangerous Sense maximum one. So I'm still short one, but I can shuffle. Oh, man, I can shuffle, but I can't draw the rare this turn. If only I danger sensed earlier, because I can't... Okay, whatever. I'm not going to make him. I'm going to get very close. I would have been able to hit him if that attack didn't put a uh, one of those back or I didn't get a wound, so... Darn. Can right-hand side seal the deal here? I've got one, two, three. Rooftop's going to be full, so actually, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, I think that's it. I think I, think I can't win. Um... That is the next hero you recruit this turn goes on top of your deck. And I don't have any drawing ability. So I think that's going to be it for me. Once again, I'll play it out. Darn. So close. Razor's Edge Thin Loss is here. So that's three. I play Reveal Identity, that's zero, four, three, six. That's gonna be four more, so I'm at three. I'm at seven. And then I'm at um, eight, nine, maximum of 10. That's all I can get. I can only get 10 because there's only one card left. None of these will help. All standard bystanders. Yep, that's it. Let's play a Sonic Warning. One attack. Danger Sense 2. Only card left in the villain deck is the last Mandarin's Ring. All right. Well, if the left... <laughs> no, that's not... I wish that wasn't there because I couldn't get rid of that last attack for him the whole time. I get one more attack for Danger Sense. Yeah, that's nine attack. If I spend my shard, that's a tenth attack. He is at 11, which I can triple check, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate um, with all the rings there. Yeah, he's a 16, 15, 14, 13... I'm counting backwards. I should count the ones by victory pile. So there's one there, two, three, four, uh, five. That means there's five in victory piles. Yep. Darn. Okay. Well, I might as well do this for no good reason. You may shuffle your discard pile into your deck. I'll get the rare out, but I think that's going to be it. What does this ring do? Oh, I wish I could have fought this this last turn. It go uh, you basically it's the one where you say good or bad. It goes into a discard pile. All right, let's just let's end this with class. Where's the rare? There it is. All right, shuffle this up, put the rare on top. Okay, so let's just fight what we can. Um, nothing will resurrect. No discard pile, so I'll fight bug for four. <laughs> Five left, and I'll fight Man Thing for five, and uh, get both of those bystanders out of there. Oh man, I got every chance in the world to. All right, and that's it. Yeah, literally one attack short from winning the game. And this will be my next hand. <laughs> Roller coaster, right? All right. Yeah, this is all I got. So, I did clear the rooftops. That does give me... Hold on. That gives me three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still not enough. Okay. Yep. The ring comes in. 
It's the one we looked at. Cards go in discard pile. I can at least clear most of the city, right? This is the last turn. Let's do it. That's uh, three attack. Four attack. Psyblaze gives me four more attack. I'm at eight attack. Let's fight the ring. He'll be down to ten. All right, look at the top card of another player's deck. I'm just going to do this real quick. That's pretty good. I'm going to put it in that discard pile. I did do that. I did that on purpose because I was trying to get a guaranteed weakening of the mastermind. But uh, I made that choice. I wasn't super worried about losing to the scheme exactly. So that's why I did that. But yes, I, I, I did that full, fully aware of what I was doing. And uh, four recruit, that's it. I'll end my turn, which means I go to the next side. And no villain deck, so that is going to be a draw against Mandarin. One attack away from winning this entire setup. A single attack would have done it if I had gotten one other shard earlier or something or other. But I don't care because that was a ton of fun. That's four losses. Oh man, I got I gotta do better here. Um, hopefully, I do better with the rest of the what if <laughs> episodes, but I'm not super confident in that. Let me go ahead and give you guys your uh, rewards for predicting that I was gonna fail miserably. Yeah, hey, I drew. I didn't fail miserably. I just failed somewhat, unfortunately. So that was a draw. So there you go. And that was the game. Uh, next week is going to be episode 5 of What If. And Thursday is going to be another randomizer stream. If you've never played the randomizer league before, I'd love to see you participate and talk about the setup. Come on by. Um, I will see you in the Discord. And I'm just going to end the stream because I'm exhausted. Thank you for coming by. And uh, thank you off the cuff for being here and watching and catching all my little errors. And uh, where was Moon Dragon's Rare? That's what I want to know. That would have been great to shuffle the villain deck. <laughs> okay, zombies. Ooh, Marvel Zombies. I really hope we get a Marvel Zombies expansion someday, but until then, Off the Cuff put together a really awesome setup. So come back for that, and I will see you guys on Thursday for the Randomizer stream. I appreciate you all. Thank you for all the subs and the participation. Good night. See you for the Randomizer on Thursday.